everybody welcome back to another case break today we have three hobby cases of the brand new 2020 top series 2 that just came out on friday and we're going to be looking for luis robert rookie cards and his short print and we're going to see if we can find that super super short print where he is rounding the bases it's like a 1500 dollar card so uh, also there's one autograph or relic in each box and we are going to get started right now camille is up thank you everybody for joining us tonight let's get this show started up isaac says let's get a robert short print we actually did get a robert short print in the jumbo break that's about a 300 dollar card and uh, we did not get the super super short print though and that's what i want to do tonight so Best of luck to Camille. Let's see what we can find. There's 24 packs in each one of these boxes. What we'll do is we'll just rip down through each stack, and then we'll start looking through and see what we can find. Avery says, how was your day? Avery, thank you for asking. It was a good day today. Hopefully everybody else had a great day as well. Oscar said, I just opened a box of this and got a Yu Chang out of 50. That's a pretty good pull right there. He's like the second or third best rookie from this set. Last Draft says, let's hope Hobby is better than Jumbo. Last Draft's baseball, thank you very much. Jumbo, uh, a little rough in terms of finding great autos. And Camille is here. Camille, thank you very much. Camille with the $10 Super Chat. Thank you very, very much for that, Camille. Let's see what we can find for you right now. There's Shogo Akiyama. We've been sleeving his rookie cards up because of what Last Draft's baseball told us about. Said that he is... The guy to look out for in this set. Thank you, Mason. I appreciate that. Thanks for the kind words. Looks like these are all flipped around. Here comes our first 20, 30 card. There's one of these in every single box of every single pack of Jumbo. There'll probably be roughly one in every three packs or so of this, I would imagine. Now, I really like this card. And how about a Carter Keyboom? This could be a short print. Yeah, Carter Keyboom short print right there. There's a nice way to start things off. Carter Keyboom short print. Like that one a lot. Those short prints are usually about $10 cards or so. Keyboom is a nice young player. Got a Raphael Devers significant statistics card. Those are always kind of hard to find. So we'll get that one sleeved up as well. Uh, Scott, I don't think I saw that one, man. Sorry about that. We actually are sold out. Uh, I have three of these cases that uh, I can do, and um, if you missed out on that one, I do apologize. I'll get some more 2020 for you guys if you missed on that. Um, I think I have a couple more cases on the way, so we can do another one very, very soon. All right, so best card so far, Carter Keyboom. And there's a gold card of Colin Moran, old red beard for the Buckos. Uh, I always know that some of you guys like to see the number 14 out of 2020. Sin City had a great night last night. Thank you very much for asking. <clears throat> Let's see what else we had there. Heather and I played a card game with some friends, and I came in dead last place. Uh, what do I have, Heather? Like negative 75 points in 500 rum? Is that what, what you call it? It's a game that I am learning, so... <laughs> Heather came in second, right? All right, Camille, here's your next stack. Best one out of that first stack was the Key Boom. Chris is waiting on 2020 Archives. Yep, that's coming out soon. I'm, I'm waiting on Archives Signature Series Retired Player Edition. That's coming out in a couple weeks. I started looking down the road a little bit and saw that one coming up like July 8th. Uh, Devastation says, I'm in the Patreon. Are there any spots left to buy? I'm sorry if you didn't sign up um, in advance for this one. I don't think I'm going to have any extra spots for sale as it did appear to be sold out and filled up. Here's Camille's next spot. But like I said, I'll get some more of these cases so that we can do some more 2020 for those of you, that, for those of you guys that didn't sign up in time. Um, to get in this and are after the super short print. Caden, how's it going? There's the hit. It's Joey Votto, game used jersey. So the hit, typically in these hobbies, I would say two thirds of the time, you're gonna find a relic. And um, if anybody's gonna plan on sitting through the entire live stream tonight and wants to do the counter to see exactly what it's gonna be out of 36 boxes, 
you can uh, start keeping track right now and be the official relic to autograph ratio tracker. Right now, it's one relic to zero autographs. I would guess it's probably going to be like one-third uh, autos and two-thirds relics. There's Juan Soto 2020. That's a nice one right there. I like that one a lot. Matthew Swanson says he's on it. One zero relics. What else do we got here? Basically, the only rookie card really getting excited about with uh, 2020 Tops Series 2 is that Luis Robert card. Uh, a couple days ago on Friday, it was about a $20 card. I think it has come down just a tad. I saw some selling today for maybe around 15 shipped or so. Uh, but still a very, very hot card. And I think it might come down a little more. I don't know. I, I don't understand why a Bowman... Uh, rookie card of Luis Robert is worth like a buck. I think I just bought five of them for five bucks. And his base is like a $20 one. So I think it's going to come down a little bit. That's one thing. Whenever there's a brand new release out there, it's always, there's, demand is always at its highest. Usually right around release day. Camila, here's your last stack. You got the Joey Votto. You also have that bonus. And that Fanatics is the tops is much more de desirable. But is it 20 times more desirable? I don't know. Um, that is a good point, though. Let's see what we have in our second one. True Seekers, did you send it to my Yahoo account? Uh, I will definitely check that one out. Um, I actually went and I tried to figure out exactly. Um, I went and checked your email and I think you wanted my updated number and or, or you gave me your updated number but I noticed it was like a Tennessee number so I thought it might have been a phishing email it just wasn't the Las Vegas or New Mexico number so I wasn't exactly sure so it is a Tennessee is it a Tennessee number uh, if you let me know, you can just let me know the area code once again, and I'll have Heather write it down, and if it matches up, I'll I'll add it. There's Luis Robert rookie card. That's about a $10 card or so. What else do we have? Heather, can you write down 931? I'll check that out and make sure it matches up. Free Friday break says we hit a gold Luis Robert out of 2020 out of a hobby box. What does that go for? Um, I saw today, I was just kind of looking at Robert cards on eBay. Semrose hits, how's it going? I saw a Robert Independence Day was a $1,500 card um, out of 76, which is pretty crazy. So uh, maybe we'll find that one tonight. There are 76 of them out there. We shall see. Here's Camille's Silver Pack. Zeke, man. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Sometimes you find autos in these. I think out of the jumbo, it was one in every eight. Best. Hey, we got Luis Robert. Very nice. Congratulations on that, Camille. Heather, we're going to top load all Luis Robert cards again tonight. Very, very nice. Camille, congratulations. Your very last card was nice. Mojo um, 1985 style design. Love that card right there. And those are Camille's. Camille, thank you very much. All right, so the first box is in the books. Box number two, that is going to be for Robert. Matt, you do have to be a Patreon page or a page uh, member to participate in any of the breaks. It's $3 per month. Also, that works out to $0.10 cents per day. Robert, let's see what we can find for you. C-Dub says, dude, I love this channel. You brought me back into the hobby. Hashtag we are jabs. Thank you very much, man. Thanks for your support and thanks for being here tonight. Let's see. Whoops. Robert, looks like that pack there was trying to escape off the screen. Uh, Anthony says, are these out at Walmart yet? Um, I haven't looked yet. I'd like to get out there and do a retail review, but um, I don't know. I might just do the lazy method and just order them off of eBay and do them that way instead of searching from Walmart to Walmart to Walmart. Stemmer says, going to watch you on the big screen. First time seeing these cards, and we are live on Friday. Stemmer's Hits, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Stemmer's Hits, and remember they will be live on Friday. Scott hasn't seen any retail yet. I actually went out the other day, and I found a bunch of uh, Prism on the shelves. The retail release of 2020 Prism, typically, it seems like with Panini, the stuff comes on the shelves a little bit after the main release. So I picked up um, one box of everything Prism-related, a Mega Box, a Blaster Box, and a Fat Pack, 
We'll be doing a video for you guys of all of that stuff. And I didn't see any 2020 Series 2 on the shelves, but I did see remnants that it was there. I saw a, uh, a gravity box that was hanging up on this shelf, but no signs of blasters or fat packs. Hits only says, we hit a cut auto of Mickey Cochran, one of one out of Diamond Kings on the channel. Appreciate the content and support. Hits only, who's now, what, well over 300 subscribers. Congratulations on that huge hit. I do like Diamond Kings because you get to have a shot at some nice Hall of Fame relics and stuff like that. There's a nice Javi Baez. We'll get that one sleeved up. I love those 2020 cards, or 2030 cards, I should say. I wonder what cards will look like in 2030. I'm sure that um, I'll still be collecting, hopefully, and still doing these videos. John Bertie. Uh, let's see... Any autos yet? No, no autos. This is only the second box. Um, Stemmerset says, what are those 2030 cards? It's a little insert set where they're imagining what cards would look like in 2030. And um, there's some pretty nice players in there as well. Here's the next pack for Robert. Best of luck to you, Robert. So far, we have one relic. It was a Joey Votto game used relic. One of one pool says, you missed a vintage stock. Heather, if you see a card with an old-time Topps lo logo in the upper um, corner, like a swooshy T like this, put that in the sleeve for them. Thanks for seeing that. I don't know how I missed that one. Last Ross Baseball says, more Akiyama info. In the last five years, he was fifth, second, first, seventh, and second in batting average race in the Pacific League and averaged 18 homers per year. Last Ross Baseball, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Shogo Akiyama. So we found one of his rookie cards already. There's a nice Christian Yelich. Yeah, we'll keep an eye out for him and see if he pans out. A lot of times, some of these guys coming over from Japan, just um, they don't have it, unfortunately. It doesn't really work out. We've seen some guys have some success. Guys like Godzilla, Hideki Matsui. Kosuke Fukudome came over and kind of struggled a bit. Looks like we may have an autograph. No, it's Logan Webb batting. That is a short print. Logan Webb, I, I don't know why he got a short print. Looks terrified. Like, oh my gosh, I actually have to do this. Uh, kind of in the middle of taking a deep breath, facing like a 96-mile-an-hour fastball. Poor guy. Logan Webb probably didn't hit that much in the minor leagues, and now he's thrown into the batter's box right there. So I thought it was going to be an auto, but it's a short print. Probably about a 5 to $10 card on those short prints. J. Bob says that is a strange-looking card. Here's the Ranger card for somebody that asked. They have the inaugural season, and I like that touch. Uh, I wish that they would do that. Top should do that all the time. Whenever there's a new stadium or something cool going on, there's always a little logo like that. For example, when Wrigley Field and Fenway Park celebrated their 100th anniversary at their ballparks, they had a special logo, and it was included on all the baseballs. I think Topps should do that. That's pretty cool. I like that. Nice little add touch to the cards. There's an Aaron Judge Topps 2030 card. Last drop said, I would say Akiyama will be similar to Nori Aoki. Uh, he was serviceable, so he wasn't he wasn't like a major star, but he was all right. I'm trying to think who the last... Uh, the best star ever to come over from Japan was obviously Ichiro. Um, we've had guys with mixed amounts of success since then. There is an Adam Hazley. That one's 1605 of 2020. Top five rookies in this set. It's Luis Robert, number one, and then everybody else. I mean, you might say Shogo Akiyama. You may say Yu Chang. You may say James Karinchak. Some people might say Logan Webb. Um, I don't know. It's really it's a tough call. Some people will say Bruce Star Gratterall. None of those guys have a ton of value to them right now. Jag115-2010 says, Hey, Jabs, I pulled a Joey Votto opening day auto, four out of five, out of an opening day 2018 blaster box. Any idea what it's worth? Joey Votto, opening day out of five? Pretty low print run on that one, so that's kind of tough to tell. I would look up... Um, Maybe other opening day out of five autos and see what they're going for and see what players similar to Votto are worth. Mutt Wizard said that's a $25 card. Mm, it may be um, since it's opening day. It's not worth uh, it's not worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars like you would think. Keith, thank you very much for the kind words. Let's see what we can find now for Robert in his second 
stack. We have yet to find the auto. There's Marcel Ozuna, Brock Burke. That's going to be out of 2020, 1854. And uh, there's Blake Snell in there. Caden will give that 80 bucks on the Joey Votto out of five. There's Mike Trout, player of the decade card. Yes, he definitely is. And we'll see if he's the player of the decade for 20, the 2020s. I wonder who that's going to be. Uh, hands down, Trout was the best player of the 2010s. No doubt about it. And Joey's calling a Luis Robert autograph. Right now, there is Jaime Barria. Heather, did you find a Blackman vintage stock? Not yet. Okay, there's Jim Rice. What else do we have coming up? There is an Acuna. Jason says that he met Logan Webb. That's pretty awesome. Anytime you meet a major leaguer, that's pretty pretty cool for sure. There's Mookie Betts, Central Valley. Thank you for the kind words. We got Dallas Keuchel, Jill Urshela. There's the Houston Astros card from the 1990s. Decades best team. They were pretty darn good with the killer bees. You had Bagwell, Biggio, Berkman, Billy Wagner. There's the hit. Jordan Alvarez out of 50. A nice hit there for Robert. So it's two relics to zero autos, but it's a pretty darn good one right there. Jordan Alvarez, a uh, highly valued rookie in all the 2020 releases. And this one is a nice low number out of 50. 39 of 50. So... I don't know. I'd probably put a price tag of about at least 50 bucks on this. Maybe more. Heather, what would you say? Heather's going with, what, 50 also? Heather's going with 50 also. Heather, we're going to need a probably a 79-point top loader for that one. Let's top load the Jordan for sure. Uh, there's Luis Robert as well. So get another top loader ready. Luis Robert rookie card. And then, Robert, you also still have the quote-unquote good stuff. It's going to be the Series 2 pack. All right, we've got Albert Alzole leading things off. Justin Dunn, Joey Votto, and Abraham Toro is the last one. So these are the sleeved cards, and those are the top loaders. And there's Robert's name tag. Next up, we have Jose. Best of luck to you, Jose. Next box off the... Um, list here, or I should say stack. If you want to see a little behind the scenes stuff, we've got them all stacked up by the case. This is case number one, case number two, and case number three over there. So this makes it easier than turning around and pulling them out of the case. Joey Brown says, love the channel. Keep it up, Joey. Thank you very much for the support. I appreciate that, man. I hope you guys will check out Joey's channel. And Jose, you are up right now. Morgan says, now that's a beautiful sight. I guess maybe I should have made that my thumbnail instead of just, you know, a little cross-section looking down at the cards. Matt said, almost done with half a case. We are, um, I don't know, we're about a quarter of the way done. This is box number three. There's 12 boxes per case. 716 Inc. Adam says, 33 subscribers short of 100. I do TTM autograph videos. 716 Inc. I hope you guys will check him out, especially if you have no idea what... Uh, TTM is. It's a pretty cool concept where people send off baseball cards to fans, and um, they're not fans, but players, and they will sign them for the fans and send them back. So those TTM YouTubers, they will do mail days quite often and open up letters from former players, current players with signed cards in them, and it's always pretty cool because that probably will motivate you to maybe send a letter to the guy as well. I have never grabbed, Jason. I've never really gone after autographs. I mean, I have received autographs at ballparks like during rain delays when there's nothing going on. If there's a player that's signing for other people and I, you know, have a baseball or something I'd like to get signed, I'll get it signed. Uh, but it's very rare that that happens. Maybe um, when I was going to games all the time, it would probably only happen like two or three times per year. I never had the patience to stand there and just wait for autographs like some fans do. That's, you know, everyone has their own cup of tea, though. If that's yours, that's awesome. All right, so, Caden, uh, they are sold out, but probably not for long. These aren't numbered, by the way, those blue borders. Usually, demand is at its absolute highest once something comes out. So, even though I can't find any Series 2 on the shelves around me, I bet you next week or so it's going to start popping up. Uh, A&R says, love the videos, Jabs. Can I have a shout-out? Yes, yeah, shout-out to you. Thank you for watching. There's Gavin Lux, Rookie Card 2030. 
they'll be on the shelf soon. You guys saw how prevalent Series 1 was, and the Series 1 checklist absolutely blows away the Series 2 checklist in terms of good rookies and stuff with Alvarez and Lux and Bichette and Aquino and Jesus, Lusardo and Dustin May all jam-packed in there. Um, it's it's not a, it's kind of like a mismatch in checklists. Mm, let's see what else we have here. There's Chris Bryant, Cespedes. And then we have a Carlton Fisk. It also may have gotten screwed up since it was released on Friday. So with a later release, usually Tops releases on Wednesdays. So if you don't see it at your local retail location, that may be why. Probably be out there coming up, uh, I don't know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or so. All right, Jose, let's see what we can find. Ollie Moon found it early. You're lucky, man. How do you buy into an opening, asks Sam. I sell the spots for these on my Patreon page. So if you're a Patreon member and you'd like to sign up for any break, you can do so through that Patreon website. It's uh, $3 per month to be a member on Patreon. There's Vladimir Guerrero 2030. That's a good one. And let's see. There's Kyle Tucker. Uh, we've got Brent Suter. Jose Canseco 85. Ollie Moon says, anyone ever think about getting a job with Excel just to get cards? Um, yeah, Excel marketing. That's that's the uh, place you want to go if you want to stock the shelves. Although you'd have to deal with a bunch of angry, pushy people every week that always want to get all of your inventory before you have a chance to even put it out. Shy City Pool says, what's up, Jabs? Hope all is well. Good luck to all. Shy City Pools, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Shy City Pools. And give them support as we check out Jose Abreu, um, toss back uni to like 1983 or so. That's a short print. Usually those are five to ten dollar cards. Nice little, add a little bonus there. And let's see. So we have two relics that we've pulled so far from our first two boxes. One was a Joey Votto. One was a Jordan out of 50. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. 2030. Love those cards. Very very cool. Next pack up, there's Charlie Blackman. Hopefully he can beat the virus quite easily and get back for oh, some point very soon. Probably have to be out for at least 14 days. Michael Kopech, there's Rymel Tapia. That's a gold card. It's a cool picture on that card. Stealing a home run, number 92 of 2020. And still looking for our first or only autograph from this box. Only one per hobby. Some people like Panini better than Tops just for this reason because you have a better chance of getting autos and stuff like that. Do I think that the Andrew McCutcheon SP has a shot at holding its value? I don't know. What does that card sell for? We pulled that one on Friday. Andrew McCutcheon in the dugout with the throwback Phillies uniform on. His uniform all opened up. Missing all the buttons, bare-chested McCutcheon. Um, I don't know if it's rare enough. It's selling for $300. Heather, that McCutcheon that we pulled is going for $300. That's crazy. Um, I don't know. It all depends on how rare it is. Once, um, if a whole bunch of them start flooding the market and it's like, you know, as prevalent as like a, say, $10 um, run-of-the-mill um, short print, then it's going to drop for sure. There's Jorge Soler. It happens sometimes with those cards. Sold for 70 bucks this morning. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to stay up there. There's Jordan Hick, Hicks' significant statistics. Cole Hamels wants to get on over to the uh, team bag pile quickly. Kelvin Herrera, former Royal player, had a terrible season last year. 614 earned run average. I used to remember he used to dominate with the Royals. Remember the Royals bullpen in 2015? They were lights out when they had uh, Joaquin Soria, Kelvin Herrera, and Wade Davis shutting it down. Johnny Serena says, cool. Johnny, thank you very much, man. Thank you for the support there. Sergio Romo, another former World Series champion. Of course, Romo was um, World Series champion, what, three times with the Giants? And then Tyron says, Beckett says a 2020 Dominguez base card is $50 to $120. That's crazy. Um, there's no way it's worth that much. 
There's Alex Bregman. It was going for about 30 on release day or re release week. There's Luis Robert. We'll get that one top loaded up for you. Jose, congratulations. I feel like now you can get that Jason Dominguez first Bowen for 5 to $7 off of eBay. Uh, we're talking about the base paper, right? 25 is even way too high. Here comes the hit. Juan Soto. So our third relic. And all of them have been former MVPs or award winners. Nice Juan Soto. Um, top star right there. Game use memorabilia right there. Like that one a lot. Three nothing right now. Relics to autographs. We got Matt Olson, Altuve. And that's it for that box. That's why the jumbos are a little bit, you know, a little more in demand. I think personally, I would rather have a jumbo box. It's more expensive, obviously, but you do get a guaranteed autograph. Rob Sports Talk says, Hi, Jabs. I make sports news reaction videos. Rob Sports Talks, thank you very much for that. I hope you folks watch it right now. We'll get on over to Rob's channel and check his channel out and uh, support him. So, Jose, thank you very much. We'll top load the Robert. Here's the rest of his base. Brian T is up right now, spot number four. Last Raps is calling the first auto of the night. How much is the Luis Robert short print? It's about $275 to $300, the one where he's sitting in the dugout holding up two fingers. That's about, eh, I'd say, $300. And the uh, super short print is worth about $1,500. 215 says, was going to buy into this break, but I wasn't that big of a fan of Series 2. But hope you and Heather are doing well. I'll be watching. Good luck, guys. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, 215. If you're a rookie card hunter, then you're probably not very stoked with Series 2, but there are some nice short prints in here. Really, the, the chase card is the Luis Robert short print and super short print. And then, like folks have said, the um, Andrew McCutcheon card is going for big money, like uh, hundreds of dollars, I guess, according to what someone said earlier. Also, I was wondering, I didn't get a chance to look this up today. The super short print is about $1,500, Mauricio. I looked it up on eBay. There's only one of them available on all of eBay. So I guess it's pretty darn rare to find it. It must, must be super, 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 super short print. Because we opened three cases of gumbos, didn't find a single one. And uh, right now we've opened almost a uh, half case of this and haven't found one yet. So... Let's see what we can find now for Brian in spot number four. We have Carlos Carrasco there. There's a Tigers foil card. One thing about the uh, Jumbos as opposed to Hobbies is the foil. You don't get the gold foils in Hobbies. You can only get the silver foil cards. So, I mean, that's one extra bonus with the Jumbos. But, like I said, they are about half as much as Jumbos, these hobbies. There's Charlie Blackman uh, throwing from a seated position right there. Chuck Nasty can do it all. That's his nickname, a.k.a. Um, Twitter handle, I guess. A very nice one. Kellen got a Sky Blue Dominguez, graded BGS 9.5. Good job. Uh, Mike E says, last week Heather repeated my card father comment. Can I get a thumbs up from her? She gave you a thumbs up. There we go. It's off camera, but uh, the thumbs up was administered. There is a nice Frankie Lindor. Tops 2030. <laughs> Walking US Tour said, I went to my local Walmart and all the cards were wiped out. All the cards at my Walmarts have been wiped out for months. Um... It's been pretty rough for sure. There's a foil card right there. Hey, we've got a camo out of 25. If you want something really valuable, we need to find Luis Robert out of 25. That's probably about a $2,000 card if we find a Robert. The Severino like that? Oh, I'd say that's probably about a $10 card. A 215 says, what's the next break? Is that the new Prism? Yep, it will be the brand new Prism. It's called Quick Pitch, Prism Quick Pitch. And uh, I have one case of that coming in, I do believe. 20 boxes. Ollie Moon Collectible says 95 from 1K will be announcing a giveaway this week. Ollie Moon, you're almost at 1K. Congratulations. There's Annie. How's it going, Annie? 1K is quite a nice milestone if you're a YouTuber because you finally get to 
become monetized as long as you have also the 4,000 watch hours. Louise, <laughs> Louise Robert Camo is listed on eBay for $12,000 right now. It says, Jay, that's crazy. I, I told you that's... And I'll, I don't. I highly, highly doubt anyone's going to pay twelve thousand dollars for a card that's out of twenty-five. Um, I don't. I don't know if I would even say a one of one is worth that much. Um, that's pretty crazy. It's definitely going to drop once a couple more of those come on the market. They'll start undercutting each other, and you'll probably see that card down, way, way down within a couple weeks or so. No one's paying twelve grand for that right now. All right, so we have Tyler Chatwood. There's Josh Bell, 1985. Uh, all access is here in Orlando. Our Walmart has lots of Series 1. That's pretty good. Series 1 is the best release of these two. There's Pete Alonso. Tons of rookies in the Series 1. Next little stack here for Brian. Looking for Luis Robert rookie card. And the short prints as well. The short prints tops made it easy for us in Series 2. They put them all upside down. Uh, before that, we always used to have to uh, look at the backs of the cards and look at those little numbers to differentiate. And after opening so much, we would tell if something was a short print because it would stand out right away. UNC said, I bet he doesn't get $2,000 for the Luis Robert card, the camo. I agree with you. I could maybe see someone going as high as a grand for it. Uh, how much do I think the prison break will run, Eric? I can't remember two one five. I have to look it look it up and see what I paid for the case. I can't remember if it was like three grand or thirty one hundred, and I have to figure out all the math and everything. But I will put it up on Patreon probably tomorrow sometime. Wants us, how much is the buy-in for this break? It was 110 per box. These are also 107.95, so 108 on Steel City Collectibles, but you have to pay them tax and shipping. So that runs, uh, I don't know, probably about 120 on Steel City. There's out of 199, Carlos Santana. Very nice, Carlos Santana, black border. Uh, what is a short print? A short print is where you find a card like uh, Michael Brantley, like this one. But it'll have a different picture on it, and there'll be a lot less of them printed. It's exactly what the name suggests. There's a much smaller print run of the cards. So, And you'll see one. When one comes up, I'll point out another Pedro Severino. This one is a gold. Have I found any SSPs yet? Nope, no SSPs. We found the SP on Friday of Luis Robert. The relics seem solid. So far, the relics have been pretty good, for sure. Soto and Vado. There's T-Dog Shea. How's it going? There's Bo Bichette. T-Dog Shea. I like how you did that with your name there. T-Dog, a an avid golfer and professional golfer. Uh, pretty creative there. Steven Strasburg. Let's see. where. Let's find a short print. Usually, we've been finding, on average, right now, about... Um, there's 12, 16 out of 20, 20 gold card, about one per box. Uh, Mauricio found this super, super short print. Congratulations. That's pretty darn lucky. Here's Brian's last pack. We've got Cattell Marte. We've got Jorge Soler, Tony Gwynn, and Nick Solak is the last one. Those are all for Brian. So Brian is in the books. Next up, we got Dustin in spot number five. Let's see what we can find for Dustin right here. Yeah, shout out to your little brother, Mason. Bucky, shout out. Thank you for watching. Will there be guaranteed autos in the quick pitch? I have to double check the... Um, the information sheet on that, but I think there's one guaranteed auto per box, maybe. And um, I think the donut prisms are like the big thing in there. I think you get like 10 or a bunch of them per box. Nolan says, do I like Dodger films? I love Dodger films. Bobby Crosby is the man. All right, let's get Dustin's name visible there. Do you get an SP in every box? It's not, I don't think it's guaranteed, but usually... That's what it is. Jason says, what is Quick Pitch? Quick Pitch is the newest release coming out next week. It's called Prism Quick Pitch. 
It comes out on Wednesday, and uh, I'll do a new, brand new release video and talk more about it once I review all the details about it. And uh, I was only able to get one case of it, so we will see uh, what that's all about. It should be a fun one. All right, so here we go. Dustin, you are up. Here are your cards. You have a gold of Brett Gardner. That one's 1583 out of 2020. It's Wade Miley in there. Got Chicago White Sox team cards. Another thing I don't like about Series 2 is just the huge uptick of team cards. Uh, let's see what we have right now. There's Carlos Santana Blue. Those aren't numbered, though. There is a question there. Can you tell us more about the MLB Baseball in subscription? I'd like to upgrade my account. West Chester Builds. Are you talking about uh, if you get an MLB uh, game used baseball? Those are all ones that I caught in batting practice. Um, I give those away with $50 and up tiers. Uh, I put one of those in each box. So if you're on 50 or up, I will include a baseball. Like the $50 tier, I give you an old wax box. I think this month I did uh, 80, 88 tops. Uh, the month before, I think I did 93 Donruss. There's Juan Soto. And then I put a few packs of theirs, newer packs. I forget what it is. It might be four or five newer packs. And then I put a baseball in there as well and ship it in a flat rate priority mailbox. There's player of the decade, Mike Trout. Like that one a lot. <laughs> Sin City says, don't forget the August release of Panini T-Ball featuring the best T-Ball players from around. <laughs> that would be funny if that was an actual release. What else do we have? There's Pete Alonso and Clint Frazier is the last one there for Dustin. Yeah, no, and that one was pretty crazy. How, asking about the $300 Patreon patrons. They get a brand new wax box. So I just sent uh, everybody on the $300 tier uh, the brand new Series 2 hobby boxes along with an old hobby box, a brand new blaster box, a baseball, some hobby packs, um, a hanger box. can't remember. And some other stuff. So here we go, Dustin. Here we go with yours. Let's see what we have coming out of your pack. You have a James Marvel rookie card. Upcoming breaks. What are we doing? Well, there's Luis Robert rookie card. I like that one a lot. Um, the next break on when is that? Wednesday. That's quick pitch. And then I think the week after that, um, that's going to be. I think maybe Sunday then. There's a short print of Steve Carlton. We've seen this one once before. On uh, When was that? Friday we pulled that one. Very, very nice. Uh, Wester says, if we upgrade today, do we get June and July once it renews? Yes. So if you're on like the $3 tier right now and you upgrade to something, then you'll get June and July because you'll pay the difference. Here we go with the next one. And uh, I'll probably just ship them both together just because... Um, you know, June's almost over, so I'll get your July and June out there at once. Been working uh, most of the day today after uh, hanging out with Heather until 1.30. After that, I spent working on all the $3 breaks, folks, and had to contact a lot of them. I put a posting up asking for their addresses because since they don't get sent stuff each month, I don't have their addresses, a lot of them. So I asked them to email me their addresses and it made things a little easier today to get their stuff underway. Dom James, how's it going? Doing pretty well. Finally rained here a little bit today. We've, had, we've not been getting much rain at all. My pool has been losing water from the heat. So I had to put the hose in for about three hours today. Uh, 215, if your address is always in PayPal with your payments, you're A-OK. -okay. A lot of people, though, forget that. What's the best card so far? Well, we had a few Luis Robert cards. <clears throat> um, but there's another one right there. Luis Robert rookie card, about a $15 to $20 card. The best probably hit so far out of, we've this is only the fifth box. You can see the number right there that Heather wrote. The best card so far, 
is a um, Jordan Alvarez out of 50 relic card, gold relic border. That's the best one. We'll see if we can top it. So far, we'll get that significant statistics card sleeved up. So far, it's been all relics. And I said that probably two-thirds of the hits would be relics. I'm interested to see exactly if I'm right or not. That would be, what, 12 autos? And the, all the rest, relics. There's an Andrelton Simmons. 12-24 is going to be the split, in my opinion. Last rep says, do you think the Pirates will do better than expected by playing 20 Italy games against the Central teams? No, I, I don't think so. I don't think the Pirates are going to be any good this year. Um, they are going to be scuffling, I think. See, a super chat from Jay Bob and Son says, Jabs historically... Uh, is the first Bowman or first Topps rookie card the most valuable over time? Uh, historically, I believe it to be the first Topps card. Um, just a little more in demand. But those first Bowman cards are pretty cool as well. Let's see. How about we have our first autograph? Thank you very much, J. Bob and Sons. I hope you check him out. It's Yu Chang. So now the score is 4-1. to one. Relics to autos. Yu Chang. Uh, out of 199, 69 of 199 baseball stars for Dustin. So, Dustin, congratulations right there. That's the best autograph of the evening, and it's the only autograph of the evening so far, and Yu Chang is a good one. Uh, a lot of people would rank him as the number two rookie in this set. At least uh, all those Indians fans out there. Last draft says, I was off by one box. Let's see what Dustin has now. <laughs> Mr. Case is everybody. Yu Chang tonight. We've got a purple... It's going to be a Brandon Lau. That's going to be numbered on the back out of 75. 15 of 75. What's the difference between short print and numbered cards? Numbered cards would be like this. It has a number on the back. See that? 15 out of 75. And typically they have something that gives away like a color border or something like that. Short prints are just a card with a different image on it. Like the Steve Carlton. That's a short print. It's not in the base set. I made a few of them and put them in packs. There's Dustin's. All right, this is the official halfway point of case number one. It's for Joshua. Let's see what we can find for you, Joshua. Spot number six. There's our silver pack. If you're, if you're new to Tops, they used to not put those silver packs in the boxes. You used to have to get them from the distributors. Like, whenever I would get my cases sent to me, I think they started doing that in 2018 with update. They started putting them in the in the boxes. Or maybe it was 2019 update. One of those update years. I used to... Um, the distributors would be in charge of putting those silver packs into the... Uh, into the big shipment box. And sometimes they would like float around in there and get damaged. The one and only Bud Stoney. Thanks for being here. Let's see if we can find for Joshua now at spot number six. 14 cards per pack, 24 packs per box in these hobby boxes. Mike Trout on the cover. Definitely love the picture on the cover. Reminds me a lot of Series 2 from 2016, which I've opened uh, here and there. What break are we doing next? It's going to be Quick Pitch. Prism Quick Pitch comes out on Wednesday. I don't know if that'll be a short... It might be a short live stream since it is Quick Pitch. I think they're... Uh, Maybe not as many cards. I, I, I'll have to look into that and see. There's a short print right there. It's upside down. Reggie Jackson is not card 560 in the set. That belongs to somebody else. Here it is. Reggie Jackson sliding in. Looks like he probably just bowled over um, whoever this guy is. I can't exactly tell. And uh, Reggie Jackson, short print card. Very nice for Joshua. Congrats on that one. Our first time seeing the Mr. October, there is a Player of the Decade, Mike Trout. That's pretty cool that he has his own insert set in this, Player of the Decade. A lot better than finding Reese Hoskins cards all the time in the um, Walmart retail packs. There's Ronald Acuna. I'm wondering, by the way, I haven't opened any Walmart packs yet from 2020 Series 2 because I can't find anything in any Walmart but I'm wondering who the players featured this series in Series 2. Daddy Daughter Card Break says, j Bob and Sons only one subscriber away from 300. Let's get him to the 350. Thanks, King Jabs and Queen Heather. Thank you, Clay. Daddy Daughter Card Breaks, thanks for the support. I hope you guys will check out j Bob and Sons and see who can be his 300th 
And Anthony says, did you see the McCutcheon SP is going for $250 plus? Anthony, thank you very much. We did see that. Uh, that We actually pulled that card on Friday along with his um, throwback uniform all opened up and he's just kind of standing in the dugout with like this bare chest showing. I don't know why that's worth that much if it's just as common as every other SP. It'll go down probably for sure. Sometimes you see that happening. Uh, remember with... The Shohei Otani quote unquote error card. Tony says, Is Heather a blonde? Most Heathers are blonde. That's very presumptuous. Nope, she is a beautiful brunette. Here's Joshua's next stack. J Bob, you got 300. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. All right, so here we go. Shout out to Max and Luke. Thanks for watching tonight. Looking for Luis Robert once again. There's the hit. It's Paul Goldschmidt. Let's make it, what is it, 5-1 right now. Paul Goldschmidt, game-used memorabilia right there. Goldie pulled his rookie card out of 2011 Tops Update. Very, very nice. ESPN just posted an article about McCutcheon being the best baseball card ever. Anthony, well, that's definitely fueling the demand for the card right now, then. I'm glad you gave me some insight. I was a little um, confused as to why that card would be worth so much. There's Houston Astros team card. It's a gold card, by the way. It's numbered out of 50. 20 of 50. It'll go down once all the hype kind of like uh, wears off and... People will see a bunch of it available. All right, here we go, Joshua. Here's the next one. What's the Mookie Betts Holly one go for? That's a pretty cool one, too. There's Gavin Lux. And Will says, you're awesome. Any advice for starting a YouTube channel for baseball breaks? Just have fun with it, man. And uh, try to do regular content. Tom's here. Tom, thank you very much. Doing pretty well today. Hope you're having a great day as well. Haven't really found any big Red Sox hits yet. There's Freddie Galvis. And uh, Jacob deGrom, Tom Eshelman for that stack. This will be the sixth silver pack that we open. I feel like um, it's about one in every eight silver packs has an auto. At least that's what the ratio was for the jumbos. We'll see how many... Autos we get from that tonight as well. Count is four to one right now, right, Heather? Is it, no, it's is it? It's five to one. So we just pulled the gold street relics to autos. Uh, Ped's card collection. You don't find too many autos in hobby. Tom, it should probably be there on. When did we send Tom stuff out? Tom, eight. These are the hundred dollar tier. We sent that last week. It should be there um, pretty soon. There's Javi Baez, fake patch. Uh, probably Monday. Your Ronald Acuna Jr. autograph is in there. I remember packing that one up. There's Shogo Akiyama. Rookie card. We'll sleeve him up. There's James Marvel Gold. NBA Pro says, how cheap relics have gone. That's a fake relic. It's not an actual relic. It's one of those manufactured ones that they are, you know, just trying to make you feel happy, like you got an extra bonus hit. And there's BITG says, Jabs, I will email you my address tomorrow and include a little note of a clean sneak peek of a major announcement with my channel. It will make the An Matt Antonelli collab look like 1991 Fleer, BITG. That's some pretty big news right there. Who is who are you teaming up with now? Uh, BITG teamed up to break some 2020 bone with former number one draft pick Matt Antonelli. Also, Antonelli's got like 150,000 subscribers on YouTube. Well, if you're, if it's making Antonelli look like 1991 Fleer, it's got to be a big guy. Like, um, if you're thinking YouTubers, are you going to be collabing with Dodger Films? If we're thinking players, are you going to be collabing with Mike Trout? There's a nice 1976 Manny Pena. Make sure you check out BITG, everybody. That's, I'm really interested to see who he's going to be collabing with next. 1991 Fleer is a terrible, terrible set. So um, it's going to be somebody really, really good. Let's check out the silver pack for Joshua. 
and see what we can find. We've got Alex Bregman. There's Ricky Henderson, Kwong Yun Kim, and Max Scherzer in your mojo packs from Joshua. Joshua, spot number six is in the books. Thank you very, very much. Uh, BITG says, I'll give you the heads up. I know you're like uh, Fort Knox. I probably won't release until... Oh, Fort Knox. I probably won't release until next Saturday. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. That's Yeah, that's going to be a nice, nice big announcement for sure. Brian, here we go with spot number seven. Let's see what we can find for Brian Z. Sam said, did you see your brother pull a big, uh, David Ortiz big, no, I didn't see that. That's pretty awesome. I actually <laughs> gave him those packs. I was like, hey, there's some 97 Fleer packs here. You want them? And he bought all of them. Uh, we're at the flea market. You'll actually see the footage of that, I do believe. I have footage of him buying those packs. The dusty, dirty 97 Fleer packs. David Arias, yep. That's a nice one for sure. Brian, let's see what we can find in your stacks. Spot number seven. Also, you have your silver pack, which I'm going to put right there just because I like to save that for the last round. Tom, I've not yet seen the 30 for 30 Maguire and Sosa episode. I don't have cable, and Heather doesn't have cable. Nobody I know has cable. So, unless it's going to be online, I don't think I'd be able to see it. But I, I would like to check it out. So this is rookie cards have really taken off um, recently, and I guess that might have something to do with it. So it's so not a Hall of Fame or anything, but um, you see his 1990 Fleer PSA 10 going for about 100 bucks. You're like, what is going on? Uh, Kim, thank you very much for being here. Doing pretty well. This is our seventh box of the night out of 36. Danny Mendick, short print. Check it out. There he is, nice uh, bird's eye view of Mendick about running to, ready to probably foul that ball off. Looks like he's a little late or maybe slap it out to right field. Nice looking card right there, though. Pedro, no, Luis Severino, not Pedro Severino. There's Mike Trout's significant statistics card. Average distance, 233 on his hits. Um, they track everything, I guess. What's the second best rookie to pull after least? Robert says Peds. Um, honestly, I don't really have a strong opinion on that. There's a bunch of other rookies that are like second-tier rookies. Um, there's not a clear-cut number two. You could say Bruce Dar Gratterall or Yu Chang or James Karinchak. Um, I'm trying to think who else is on that list. Sheldon Noisy. We're talking from Series 2, though, Jeremiah. Obviously, Gavin Lux would be way, way above all the other guys I just mentioned. There's Gavin Lux. Or not Gavin Lux. Chris Bryant. Somebody else said Gavin Lux and got me thrown off. 178 of 2020 right there. And there's Spencer Turnbull for Bryan. Next spot, our middle stack. Why do I think Robert SPs are doing so much better than Bichette and Aquino's? I'm not exactly sure. I mean, Robert is probably more desirable value-wise than those guys because he may have higher upside, but it may have something to do with he's the only good SP in this entire release. So there's more demand for him. Also, this just came out. I, I believe that a lot of the prices that you see right around, around release day are always kind of pumped way up and inflated. Because the demand is so high for some of these cards. So we go through these ones. Heather, did you water your plants today? Somebody just said they have to go water their plants. Not yet. Good thing we got a lot of rain. We had a nice um, storm come through. There's Hank Aaron, not numbered. And what else do we have? There is... Tyrone Taylor, been seeing his autographs in 2020. There's David Ortiz, Big Poppy. And we have a 2020 card of Javi Baez. And Edwin Rios is the last one in that part of it. Do I think there will be a surprise team in a shortened season? Yeah, there's always a surprise team. 
you could see a team sneak in the playoffs that nobody thought was going to be there. For example, last year, the Texas Rangers would have been a playoff team after 60 games. They started out really well. Usually, some team starts out very, very well. Christopher says, uh, I've got one 2011 hanger box. What? I got one 2011 hanger box. I've got um, two times four Series 1 blasters from 2011. Um, I would be interested in that for a throwback Thursday, Christopher. You'll have to send me a um, an email and we'll have to discuss prices and everything. Mostly interested in the... Um, well, maybe... I don't know. What do you think, Heather? For a throwback Thursday? For a second there, I thought there was update there, but I don't know. I feel like I just did... 2011 Series 2. Series 1 is more desirable than Series 2 because Series 1, you have the Freeman Rookie in there from 2011 along with Chris Sale. Sam says I should open some 2001 looking for Albert Pujols. Only problem with that is those cards may be bricked together, which would be awful. Uh, Tom, she's like the producer. She doesn't but she's not, um, I don't want to say supposed to speak. You could speak if you want to. I have no problem with that. But she likes to be behind the scenes. There is a Christian Yelich. Shogo Akiyama. Heather's my lovely assistant, uh, Westchester. She's got everything sleeved up and team bagged as we go along. Like um, She's up to the minute. Every box we've opened so far is already processed for shipping. There's Aledmis Diaz out of 69. Black, 35 of 69. And Walker Buehler's in there. That's about it. Do I watch any other sports? Nope. I'm a baseball-only guy. I don't even watch the Super Bowl or anything like that. There's Lorenzo Kane. That's the hit. So, low cane game use memorabilia, 1985. That is our sixth out of seven boxes that have had a relic in there. Do I like America's Funniest Home Videos? Is that show even still on? Do you remember watching that, Heather, with Bob Saget back in the like early 90s? I remember watching that. There is Josh Naylor. That one is out of 20, or 2011 out of 2020. Now, Brian, you have a silver pack. I hope Brian gets a hit because Locaine's probably the worst hit so far, and we got to see if he can be, be made up for that. There's an Urquidy Blue. That one's out of 150, 49 of 150. Carter Keebum and Javi Baez. Carter says the Cut Short Print is one of the best cards I've ever seen. I don't know if it's a $250 card, though. Yeah, we did pull that one, and we'll, hopefully we'll pull another one if you don't know what we're talking about so you guys can see it once more. We pulled it on... When was that? Friday. So, Brian, thank you very much. Now it's time for Brian G. How am I going to watch baseball without cable TV? It's simple. I have a PlayStation 4, and I just put on MLB TV and watch all the games that I want, just not Pirates games. I could always go back and rewatch the Pirates after the game if I want, wanted to. All right, Brian, here we go. Get your packs all laid out for you. Favorite Pirates players of all time. It's got to be the guys from the late 80s, early 90s. Um, Andy Van Slyke was probably my favorite all time. Brewers Cards Hurt says, Love your channel. I'm giving away a Luis Robert Blue Gypsy Queen number to 150, a Series 1 tin, and, un and other stuff. Once I hit 250... I'm at 223 right now. Brewers cards forever. Thank you very much. That's a pretty good giveaway right there. I hope you guys will check out Brewers cards forever. And uh, maybe subscribe to him right now and get him to 250 so you can have a giveaway. Uh, give yourself a chance at the giveaway. Brian, you're up right now. Spot number eight. Let's see what we can find for you. I have seen Trout play live a couple times, actually. Well, it's been in Pittsburgh, and uh, I've seen him in Cleveland as well. Would love to see him play much more often. There's the Kutch, not the Kutch card, but he's a uh, he's uh, his 
The short print card is the one that is creating all the uh, hubbub right now. Out of two ninety nine, Paul Goldschmidt. Like that one a lot. Love the eighty five style design. We'll be breaking a pack of eighty five soon. Just one single pack, courtesy of Reindeer Studios on our flea market video, which I got to put together. Probably have that for you sometime this coming week. There's Mike Trout, 2030. That's a cool looking card. Like that one a lot. We've got Cody Bellinger's significant statistics card. We'll get that one sleeved up as well. Jed Lowry. Whoops. And this stack is going to conclude with Colton Wong doing some sort of celebration on second base. Junk Wax Junkie Jack. Junk Wax Jake says, looks like I'm late to the party. Not really, man. We still have, um, here's how many boxes we have left. We still have that many left to go tonight. So that's, we're still, um, I don't know, still on our first case. A little over halfway through our first case. Did we found, find the trout? Yes, we did find the Mike Trout in the stream. Hopefully you can go back and watch the replay. Let's see what we can find out for Brian in spot number eight in his middle stack. Bowman says 640 watching, only 115 likes. Thank you, everybody that has hit the like button. Looks like it just went up right now. So thank you for whoever just hit that. A couple more people just hit it. Thanks, guys. There's Chris Bryant. How do I find so many boxes? Car Detective asks. I buy cases of them. You can buy cases. And um, just to make it easier, I just took them all out of the cases and arranged them so they were easy to grab. There's a short print. Is this the Hollywood? It is not the Hollywood. It is this one. I'm not sure what the difference is. Let me check the number on the back. 115. Mookie Betts. Short print card. Could this be the SSP? I'm not sure if the Hollywood or this one is the SSP. You'll have to hit up eBay and let us know right now. Mookie Betts with his hood on and his Dodgers uniform. So we found two different ones. One of them was going to be the SSP, I think. Very, very nice. Brian, looks like J. Bob and Sons wants that one. Caden says it's just the SP. That's too bad. I was hoping that was going to be a little more valuable. Still pretty cool. And there we have Shohei Otani 2030. Yeah, let's get a SSP, Luis Robert, rounding the bases. See if we can find him soon. 357 Magus is any good hitch yet? Well, so far, this is our eighth box, and uh, we only have one autograph so far on the night. It was a Yu Chang auto, and all the rest were relics. The best relic was a Yordan Alvarez out of 50. And we also had Joey Votto, and Brewer's card says, Phone is about to die. Well, make nowhere near a charge, but thanks for checking in. And thank you, 357 Maga, for your support. We're hoping to find some super short prints. We'd like to find the Andrew McCutcheon SSP once again, along with the Luis Robert SSP. Those were some highly valued cards. And also we'll have our eyes on the silver packs, looking for some autos coming out of those. All right, Brian, let's see what we can find for you in your next stack. I don't think we found the hit in this yet. I think that our last hit that I remember was Lorenzo Cain. And that was in Brian Z's box. Uh, Westchester. Nope, I don't use social media except for YouTube. There's Luis Robert. We'll get that one top loaded up for Brian. Congratulations on that one. That person, best hit so far was a Yu Chang Auto. There's Miguel Rojas Gold. The McCutcheon is just an SP and worth 300 bucks. That's pretty crazy. Uh, it'll definitely be going down for sure. Schmurda, probably not. I don't think so. Um, Junk Wax was at Rossi's today. Got the Bo Purple Rookie. You had to buy it. That's a pretty nice one. Corbin says, I emailed you about some mystery packs that I posted on eBay. I'll check it out. Um, I have a ton of emails to go through today. 
Uh, I got an email spike because I asked for everybody's email for, on the $3 tier, and that's um, pretty much the majority of my members on Patreon are on that tier, asking for their updated addresses because a lot of folks forget to include that when they pay in, and I'm starting to send their breaks out uh, this week. Chasing Hits says, hey, Jabs, shout out for my sales channel, please. Chasing Hits, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And we have Joey Votto and Heather, why'd you do that? I just looked over at Heather and she just gave me a nice big yawn. And yawns are, with me, they are extremely, extremely contagious. Like, uh, I catch them so easily and I have to stifle a yawn. Oh, I had to get that one out. That's out of 199. Joey Votto, it's got some dirt on it. So our second Joey Votto. Not a coffee stain. Line cards just yawned. That's pretty funny. I used to have um, this one prankster in my class that would always purposely do a huge yawn right in the middle of class <laughs> because he knew that I would catch it and I would try to fight it but eventually I'd have to give in and yawn there's George Brett Cody Bellinger and Randy Johnson is the last one Brian thank you very much there's Bry's cards and his Luis Robert which we will top load Heather's been using these cool rookie top loaders um, say rookie card at the top for that one. Don, you're up next. Spot number nine. Ryan says, you literally just made everyone yawn. Heather, see what you did? You started it. You passed it on to me, and now we just passed it to 600 other people. I don't know why yawns are so catchy. Even if you just hear the word, you just want to yawn. Here's our next pack. Tony S, best autograph so far is Yu Chang. We had a couple relics, uh, two Joey Votto relics, uh, Juan Soto relic and um, your Don Alvarez relic. So far in the, in the silver packs, the best card has been a Luis Robert Mojo. Nothing else beyond that, no autographs or anything, but we'll keep on trying and see if we can find an auto from those. I'd love to find a Luis Robert auto tonight. Fingers crossed that we will. All right, Don, here we go. Spot number nine. And Dynamite says, always a good feeling when you see Jab's family is live. Thanks, Dynamite. Thanks for checking in here. And Lefty, doing pretty well tonight. Or I guess this after, what is it? This, this, I guess it's technically evening now. It's like a little after seven. There's a gold card. A Pablo Lopez. Are the Walmart clearance boxes worth it? It depends on what's in there. Those are usually like, I don't know, 20%, 15% off. They used to be 25% off. Um, sometimes you got to watch those, though. They're, like A lot of times there's fat packs in there, and they might have um, been handled a little extra, and uh, they may have banged up corners in those. So I always kind of stay away from fat packs unless I think that the stock person just put them out. What do we've got now? There's a significant statistics card of Jacob deGrom. We've got Dallas Keuchel, Andrew McCutcheon, James McCann. And we've got Glaber Torres. Last one there is Joey Wendell. Sam says you should look for Dylan Carlson. He's going to be a good one. Dylan Carlson. I'll have to... Uh, Keep an eye out for him. Jack, how's it going? Thanks for joining us tonight. Hope everybody had a good weekend. June's almost over. Can you believe it? Heather can't believe June's almost over. On average, Bobby, we've been seeing about one per box. I don't think that's a guarantee, but usually that's, a, you know, if, you're, if you've been with us the whole time, there's been about one upside down card in each and every box. Vincey, thank you very much. Thanks for checking us out. Hey, there's a short print right there. Speaking of short prints, it's Chris Bryant sniffing the glove short print. Very nice. KB, Chris Bryant short print for Dawn. The short prints you can tell are upside down. Bobby says, I already got a Bob Gibson SP. Well, you could possibly get two in the box. J. Bob's wants to know if we're going to be online only. I, I don't know. I think... Um, that's kind of um, still, we're still in wait and see. And a lot of the districts across our area, I think only a few of them have actually come up with the plan that they've released. I think uh, 
they all have a plan. They're just kind of waiting to see what goes on with this virus and see how much it flares back up before deciding which way to go, all online or all physically in school or maybe a mixture of both. I think those are the three plans on the table in most districts around here. I know that um, Heather's district is going full-time for elementary and then half-time for grades six and up. Um, there's Ryan Zimmerman, gold. So we'll have to see what happens once, um, I guess, late August rolls around. It's time to get back to school. Okay, what else do we have? Top should have made a whole set, like 2030 cards, says Ron. Well, maybe they will in the year 2030. Hopefully they look like that because they're pretty cool looking. There's Luis Robert. Nice one right there. We'll get that one top loaded up. And a nice rookie card. There is a Bo Bichette. Dirk Remington says, evening and good luck to all. Dirk, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I hope that you guys check out Dirk's channel and give them some support. Here's Dawn's next pack. Let's see. We haven't pulled a hit for you yet, Dawn, I don't think. There's Daddy Daughter with Dirk's YouTube page. If you'd like to check him out, we go through Dawn's uh, box number nine. Mark says the Jersey Shore Walmarts and Targets have nothing. I'm not surprised. The Walmarts around here also have nothing. Target is usually pretty darn good. All right, so what do we have next coming up? Uh, Ron, I'll just leave that up for... Um, you know, people above my pay grade to make that decision. There's Seth. E and either way, I will, um, you know, support whatever we go with. Steven Strasburg coming up. There's Fernando Tatis Jr. 2030. Skyler says, my Walmart and Target have everything besides Bowman. Yeah, Bowman's still tough to find, even though it's been going down in value in terms of the resale on those. Uh, you can probably get a blaster for about 25 to 27 on eBay nowadays. There's Jose Altuve, game used, 1985. Let's check it out and see if there's any wire in there for buzzers. Heather, you see any buzzing materials in there? Looks like Altuve is clean, at least for this jersey. A <laughs> game used buzzer would be pretty funny. There's Robbie Cano and his Mets Uni. And Anthony Cato says 633 folks in here and only 190 likes. Take a second and hit that like button. Thank you very much, Anthony, um, for pointing that out. And for everyone that has hit the like button, I really appreciate that. Uh, and Anthony, you just got a little like spike there. We just crossed over 200. Thanks, guys, for hitting that like button. I appreciate your support. And thanks for hanging out here on this Sunday night. We're usually live twice a week. And this last week has been um, a lot of live streams because of all the new releases. This coming week, we'll be back to Wednesday and Sunday, it looks like. Like Spike, that's right, line cards. There is a Mookie Betts foil. And now, Dawn, it's time for your silver pack. Let's see what we can find. We have Jorge Soler, Tony Gwynn, Nick Solak, and Shogo Akiyama is probably your best one there. Get those sleeved up, and here's Dawn's name tag. And box number 10 is in the book. All right, so Todd, you're up right now. Spot number 10. There's 12 boxes per case. Heather, I think we only have one autograph so far, right? I told you guys, there's not a lot of autographs at all in hobby boxes. We've opened nine full boxes and only found one autograph. Heather, do you know what percentage that is? One for nine? 111, if you're, if you're one out of nine. Most baseball fans will memorize certain numbers. If you're one for nine, you're hitting 111. It's 0 0.11111. Any number divided by nine, I learned, is that number repeating. But that's... What is it per card? What do you mean? I don't know. I thought it just asked me a tough question I didn't know the answer to, so... Here we go, next box up, box number 10 for Todd. You 
rip through your first stack. Platinum, these just came out on Friday. Uh, some stores have had them on the shelves, but many stores have not yet put them out. So if you haven't seen them at your Walmart or Target yet, um, your best shot is to go to your LCS. My brother and I went to Triple Play Vintage on Friday, and they had a whole bunch of Series 2 all ready to go that you could buy. So that's your best chance of finding it. If you have an LCS, I know a lot of you folks don't live near an LCS because there's not that many of those around anymore. Dan Pena says, Jabs, thanks for another great break. Will Tops ever bring back Borders? Dan, thank you very much. I think that they probably will. We saw Borders with Big League. A lot of the uh, cards we had growing up in the 80s and 90s had Borders, so I, I think they'll bring them back. That's a good point. I'll have to keep uh, keep note of that and see when the borders are going to come back. There's a border on the 85 right there. Andrew, thanks for being here tonight. And uh, Camille says, Eric, did you hear Pirates Reliever Edgar Santana was suspended 80 games? I think I did hear that. Didn't he, like, um, I think he hurt his arm or something, had to have Tommy John, so he hasn't served a suspension yet, but... Um, that really stinks for him. There's a short print right there of Eddie Murray near the end of his career. Kind of a older Eddie Murray right there. Still a nice short print. Great switch hitter with his 504 career home runs. Look at those stats. Hall of Fame stats right there. Look at all those hits. 3,255. One of the all-time greats. And Adam says, hey, Eric, if you're back in the Cuyahoga Falls area, there's another store called All Pro Sports Cards. How did we miss that? We just went to triple play. I guess it's probably my fault because I was in a little bit of a hurry because I had to get back to the UPS store before they closed and pick up my cases of Series 2. Just uh, I made it by like a half an hour. There's Shohei Otani. Baseball card break says, Great break. Looking for McNeil cards for the PC. So if you guys have any Jeff McNeil cards... Make sure that you uh, link up with Baseball Card Breaks. Give them a follow. And uh, Elliot, thanks for being here. There's Daddy Daughter with Baseball Card Breaks channel right there. You can click on that. There's Stephen Brault, who is one of the worst pirates that of all time in terms of uh, his attitude and general um, interacts with fans. That guy is a complete jerk, at least to the... A lot of the season ticket holders, um, from my personal experience. Here we go with Todd spot number 10. The middle stack. Let's see what we can find for you. Unfortunately, with um, lack of baseball, guys like Stephen Brault are getting cards in 2020 Series 2. Guys that otherwise... Because they aren't that great whatsoever. Stephen Brought with his 516 ERA gets a baseball card instead of some rookie card. Todd, here we go. Spot number 10. Let's see what we can find for you. There is a Bryce Harper 2030 card. Uh, Mikey says, that door squeak is a Jabs family staple now. The door squeak. Heather, are we ever going to get some 5W30 to put on there? Or 10W40? Um, we want to put oil on there. I just made Heather laugh pretty hard. Sorry about that. We've got a Aaron Nola. WD40. There we go. Whoops. Can tell I've never bought that before. Here comes a foil. And it's a nice Mike Trout. Any autos yet? Would you believe we only have one autograph so far? Just one autograph? I told you guys that there's not a lot of autos in hobby. And uh, you now see it for yourself here. I, I was really hoping with Series 2 being kind of such a watered-down checklist that they would up the autos. But... As of right now, this is our 10th box, and we only have one autograph the entire night so far. We've been breaking for 79 minutes with, with only one Yu Chang auto. All right, so Todd, here we go. Spot number 10. Let's see what we can find for you.
Yeah, we're, we're one auto nine boxes. There should be a hit in here. Whoops. I was going to try to pick them all up and show you the cross section. They start all flying every which way. Um, I was hoping there'd be an auto. We may have, well, look at that. There's a big, thick card in there. So it looks like it's going to be number 10, or number 9, I should say. Another relic coming our way. That really stinks. The only auto so far was Yu Chang. And um, these cases, imagine paying like, wow, I forget what these were, like... Um, Twelve to thirteen hundred dollars for a case of these, and getting literally one autograph in your entire case. There's Chris Bryant. Uh, what else do we have in here? Lorenzo Cain. See if we can find you a short print, Todd. There's a gold card, Philly Special, with uh, Reese Hoskins doing some sort of special handshake with Bryce Harper. Heather, we should make up our own special handshake. What would it be? Huh? What? Bat Barts? <laughs> I can't hear you. I would have lots of steps. Oh, lots of parts. Oh, there we go. It's another relic. Out of um, 10, this is relic number 9. So... It's a gold, at least, out of 50. 12 of 50. Will Clark. Very, very nice. Uh, it, it is the case hit right now, Mr. K, which kind of stinks. Um, we'll see. We got two more boxes left. We also have the silver pack right here for Todd. Silver packs sometimes have autos. This one, unfortunately, does not have an auto in it for Todd. There's his sleeve cards. Here's his base cards. Just to uh, show you how it's organized, I organized them by the case. These, This is the remnants of case one. These are case two, and those are case three right there. So we have two boxes left in case number one, and we are struggling to find, um, you know, anything right now. It's been a struggle. Nine relics and one autograph. So here we go. Yeah, Copperhead, that's a great, great point. Big League handing out way, way more autographs than this. Like, you could get th three and a half boxes of Big League for the, for the cost of this. About, or easily three boxes of Big League. And you'd probably get, I think we found that two out of three boxes of Big League are... Um, producing autographs the autographs for in big league are um they're sticker autos which some people hate but at least it's pretty cool uh central valley said he got two autos from his big league box yeah out of all the big league boxes we opened on the live stream last week i think two or three of those boxes had two autos in them um, let's see. It says, Family Affair, your videos have inspired me to start a YouTube channel with my son. Just starting up, so would appreciate a shout-out. Thanks in advance. Family Affair. I don't know if we have Family Affair on our break or, or on our link list yet, but we'll check it out. And uh, hopefully we can track down your channel and get the link up there. Sometimes if you don't have any content, the channels are hard to find. But here we go for Kirk. Let's see if Kirk can turn the tide here. I really appreciate that family affair. We'll see what we can find for Kirk. Jeremiah says, Tops is trying to force people to buy their high-end product in order to get the good cards, like the big name cards. Nate breaks an unbox said, Hi, Eric and Heather. Another fun break. Hit 50 subscribers yesterday. Thanks for giving us YouTube newbies a shout out on your channel. You're the best. Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. Thank you very much. I hope you will check out their channel as well. So Family Affair and Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. Looks like Heather's on the computer right now looking up your channel. And um, once she finds the link, she'll put it up. It looks like Daddy Daughter's got Nate's for you. Heather, are you looking for Family Affair? Heather's still working on Family Affair. If we can't find it, Family Affair, if you want to... Um, post the link without the youtube.com because we block all links on the channel. Um, Heather can figure it out with the numbers and letters and stuff that's on the end. There's Tom Glavin running the bases. 300 game winner. 
Tom Glavin, very, very nice. Heather found it. Good job, Heather. Tom Glavin sliding into third base right there. Nice short print for Kirk. Usually those short prints are uh, about $10 cards. I forget what the case went for. I think um might have been $1,200 when I, when I bought it a week ago. There's Shohei Otani. I think they're 13. I can't remember. Well, I can't remember what they are now. All right, so let's see what we can find. There's Nolan Arenado, 1985. Here's a gold of Xander Bogarts. That one's 1494. Jamie says, love how everyone on this channel is willing to help every other channel out. All hell King Jabs. Jamie, thank you very much. There's a lot of other folks out there making content, so I just figure if they grow, then, um, you know, we all pretty much will grow together because after someone watches their video, maybe mine will be the next one recommended. I know sometimes and I'll watch a video, somebody with not a lot of subs, it'll pop up my recommended. I'll be like, oh, that's cool. I'll check that out. So then my video is sometimes the next recommended video. It's kind of cool. We're all kind of linked together in that way. How many packs can you open without a hit? Jabs must be frustrated. It says Triple B. Um, it's getting there. I mean, so far the Screamo meter hasn't gone past like three. Right, Heather? Yu Chang Autograph was the best one. And uh, he's a nice nice rookie and stuff. But um, he doesn't... Um, he doesn't get the decibels flowing for me. Here we go. Next middle stack. Yeah, one autograph, and this is our 11th box. I was expecting about a third to be autos, which would have been three autos per case. No, four autos per case. But right now, we've only found one in our first case. There's a blue Giants card, not numbered on the back. What? Heather said I missed a super chat. Oh, unknown 5646 with a super chat. Unknown, thank you very much. Um, I appreciate that. It said message retracted, so I'm not exactly sure what you had said there, but I appreciate your support of the channel. And thanks for checking in with us tonight. There's Mike Trout. There we go. Unknown 5646 says favorite player of all time. Theirs is Javi Baez. That's a good one. Mine is probably, of all time, that's a really tough question. I People ask me that quite often, and I would put names up there like Mariano Rivera would be a contender, along with Kyle Ripken Jr., along with Barry Bonds, along with Mike Trout. Um, Andy Van Slyke would probably get a mention because I loved him also for a long time as a kid. So probably one of those guys. Greg Maddox was one of them, but maybe Marion or... I used to love Rivera. Before Rivera was popular, even when he was a setup man for Wetland and, like, I don't know, like a middle reliever in 95, I was... I thought he was uh, really good. I used to listen to Yankees games on The Fan. What was that, like... I can't remember. Was it 960 or something AM? I can't remember, but I used to get him at, like... Um, like, after it would get dark out. I thought it was so cool that I was able to pick up a radio station from New York City and listen to it. And David, I haven't sent those, all of them out yet. Uh, some of them have gone out. I actually put up a posting today and um, asking for shipping addresses because a lot of folks on that $3 tier, um, they'll send me a payment and they'll forget to put a ship, shipping address there. And there's the hit, Tommy Edmond is our second hit. So it's our second autograph hit, I should say. Very, very nice. Uh, Turbo Lives says, watching for physical therapy. Hope everything's going well, man. Tommy Edmond is a pretty good one right there. And um, I think, I forget who told us this, but Tommy Edmond autos are um, pretty good. 34 of 50, maybe a $30 card right there. We'll get that one top loaded up for Kirk. Kirk, congratulations. That's literally... The best card so far in the breaks. That or Yu Chang, depending on which one you like more. I think that one's worth more because it's out of 50. The Yu Chang, I think, was out of 150. I think it was a black border. There's a Joey Wendell, 1484. So right now, we have two autographs in 11. Or, yeah, two in 11 boxes. Costa Rica break says, I've been trying 
to get some views on my videos I've been making down here in Costa Rica. Costa Rica Break did a 2020 Series 1 of Polo Trout jersey. Shout out to you. That's pretty awesome. And Unknown5646 says, love the channel. Do you like Mickey Mantle? I do love Mickey Mantle. In fact, at the flea market, I picked up one of his cards for the PC. So whenever I make that flea market video, you will see me buy a Mickey Mantle card from the 50s. I'll just, I won't give it all away, but you'll have to watch and see which one I picked up and how much I paid for. What do you get with the $3 a month uh, Patreon? Well, you get access to all the breaks. So if you want to get in any of the breaks like this one, you could leave your email address and say you're interested and I'll send you an invoice. <clears throat> and um, that's that's the break you get, or that's the, the main perk. You get access to all the breaks. If you go a little higher than that, you can get cards sent to you every month. Kirk, let's see what we can find for you now in your silver pack. Best card in this one's going to be your green Brandon Lau out of 99. Yong, thanks for joining us tonight. There's Kirk's cards. And now Jack is up in spot number 12. This is the last box of case number one. Triple B says you can literally buy Luis Robert cards for a cheaper option without all the stress of not finding them. That's also true. I guess with uh, the main draw with getting a box of these for yourself is a chance at finding a short print or a super short print as people have seen that. The Luis Robert SSP or him circling the base is like a $1,500 card right now. What is the most expensive Patreon membership? It's the $300 a month one. And um, that's the best one to get into if you're into a lot of breaks because you get 10% off on all of the breaks. So if you're buying into a lot of breaks each month, uh, almost will pay for itself. You also get a brand new hobby box sent to you each month, which this month a lot of people got the 2020 Series 2. I just sent all of those out yesterday. And then you get a blaster box in there which I think a lot of the blaster boxes that I was able to put in that tier was uh, the Gypsy Queen ones, which are like $35 a piece right now. They're tough to find. You also get a hanger box. You get some packs put in there and a Major League Baseball put in there. You get an old wax box as well put in there from the 80s or 90s. There's Chad Green, 1676. And here comes a black border. There we go. Luis Robert, 1985 black border. Very nice. We've got to get this one sleeved up and top loaded right away. It's out of $2.99. Check that one out. Uh, Luis Robert. Let's get, Heather, can you give me a, a rookie card? We're going to rookie card this one right now. Heather's been using these rookie card top loaders. I'm not exactly sure what this one's going for. I would suspect probably around, Heather, what do you think? $75 maybe? Very, very nice. Luis Robert. Okay, Jack says 70 bucks, so I was pretty close. Luis Robert, nice $70 card for Jack. Congratulations, Jack. That is, honestly, that's the hit of the night so far. That Luis Robert should get graded. That is a, it's definitely a nice looking card. Fifty dollars says, "Call me T." Where can I find the info for joining the Patreon page? The link is in the description for this video. So if you go to the description for this video, um, you will see a couple links there. One is the content page. You can kind of scroll down through all the different postings and see the stuff that I post. And the other is a sign-up page where you just type in your PayPal information or your credit card information, and then Patreon would bill you the first of each month. I would say, though, this is a little tip for you guys. If you're thinking about signing up for Patreon, you, you can wait until um, the 1st, which would be Wednesday, and then you want to be charged for June. Uh, if you do get a membership um, with cards that come with it, like a $26 one is our most popular one. If you do get the $26 one and you join in June, I'll get the June and July packages sent to you together. All right, Jack, let's see if you can top that $75 Robert card. Jay Michael says, why do you scan UR viewers? Scam? That doesn't make any sense, Jay Michael. Looks like um, you might want to check your grammar there, buddy. Jack is up right now. Let's see what we can find for you in your middle stack. There's Josh Donaldson right there. 
Anything Sports Card says, Hey, Jabs, it's Dan Tio, the left-hand pitcher. I hope I said that right. Is it Tiller or Tio? The left-handed pitcher from the Royals again. Love your videos. We'll be in KC tomorrow to start back up. We'll say hi to Rhino Hearn for us. That's pretty awesome. So Dan Tiller, the uh, pitcher in the Royals organization, is in here right now. Anything Sports Cards, make sure you check his channel out. Heather, can you make sure we link that channel? And... Uh, Man, now I'm a little nervous. Please don't tell Rhino Hearn that I hated on him. But you can maybe joke around with him, though. So, oh, look who it is right now. How appropriate is that? So, <laughs> uh, say hello to this guy and say that Jab's family is sorry that for, um, for putting so much emphasis on his autographs last year. It was just literally every single case that I would open. There was no Hearn autograph in here. Maybe ask him when you see him on Wednesday at Spring Training 2.0. Ask him how many autographs he signed last year because I feel like it had to have been like thousands and thousands. There's a nice Willie Stargell short print card. Pop Stargell, that is a nice one for sure. We love that one. Um, here's the next round here. We've got Tucker Barnhart right there. Keston Hira. There's a Nolan Ryan. Luis Robert rookie card. We'll get that one top loaded up. Luis Robert. And what else do we have? There is a Frankie Lindor tops 2030 card for Jack. So Jack probably having the best box so far with the Robert black border out of 299. Let's see what your hit is going to be because we haven't seen your autograph or relic yet. I feel like they've all been coming out of the last stack so far. So also that silver pack coming up, box number 12. This is the very last one from case number one. Then we have two more cases to go down through. Two more packs, then we'll start looking for the hit and see if um, if we do get three autos out of this box. Right now, we only have two autos out of this whole entire case. So here we go. We have a gold of Garrett Hampson. That one is 11.29. Alan, we've had our best hit was Luis Robert Black, um, 1985 style design card, worth about 70 bucks. There's Fernando Tatis. Autograph wise, we've only had two autographs. Yu Chang and Tommy Edmond, and that's it. Beyond that, we are struggling. How do I set up my camera ass, Elliot? There's the next hit, Jorge Soler. It is out of 199. So Soler, 10 relics, two autos from box or case number one. The setup is just a tripod with my phone on it. And Jack says the Edmond auto is going for 120 bucks. That's way more than I thought. That's really nice. The Edmond auto is out of 50. And Cardinals fans uh, are really high on him. So that was our best one. $125 Tommy uh, Edmund autograph. There is a, hold on a second there. Black border out of 69. Very nice. And here's the last little bit here. Then we'll do the silver pack. There's significant statistics talking about the pop time of JT Rail Muto. How was my time today, Heather? My pop time. Heather was playing second base, and I was playing catcher, and I was throwing out runners. Was it pretty good? Yeah, there wasn't people stealing on me. I I uh, taught my pitcher how to do a um, how to quick pitch and do a slide step, and after that, there was no more stealing, and um, it was pretty fun. All right, so Jack, here we go. Spot number twelve. Your silver pack, this is the last pack for you and of the box. We have a black bordered Zach Collins. That's out of 199. Very nice. Robs, thank you very much. Says, uh, great community. Glad I joined a few months ago. Thank you very much for signing up, man. And Jack, that's it for spot number 12. You'll see Jack in here in a little bit. Spot number 13, though. This one's going to Gary, and this is now going to be... We only have two cases left. There's what's left. We have a grand total of 24 boxes left to do tonight. Gary's up right now in spot number 13. 
Let's see what we can find for Gary. We've got our silver pack right there. We'll put that up top. And then all of your hobby packs will make little stacks out of them and start ripping them open right now and see what we can find for Gary HOF. Anytime I see that acronym, I think of the Hall of Fame, which is open now. Cooperstown, New York. We might have to get up there soon, Heather, before this next wave of this dumb virus shuts it down again. What do you think? Smelly says, what about a coffee break? You had your coffee, right, Heather, on the way over here? I don't drink coffee, though. I had a Diet Coke today, though. Give me a, a little bit of... There's not caffeine in that, is there? Heather says there is. Okay. This is not, must not be sugar. I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. So, Gary, let's see what we can find for you and yours. Let's see if this case is a little bit better in terms of the autographs. The first one only had two. There's 1823 Jed Lowry. He was all banged up last season. Jed Lowry only played in a grand total of nine games, seven at-bats, but with the watered-down checklist, he still gets a card. Uh, UNC says, my wife just said you sound like a sports announcer. Well, thank you, Mrs. UNC. That's very kind of you. There we go. Out of 299, Glaber Toys. Some folks have said that before, and um, that would be a fun gig for sure. Lots of traveling around, though, all throughout the country. Here we go. Next little mini stack right here. See a foil card. Coming up, it's going to be a silver foil. And then we have Mike Trout, 2030. Like the look of that one. I've probably only tried coffee four times in my life. The first time, I was four years old. Significant statistics, Mike Trout. Brian Z uh, Zebart says, just checked in. Guess I haven't missed much. Good luck in this case. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, Brian, unfortunately, um, yeah, first case was pretty rough. Only two autographs. The Tommy Edmond, though, was out of 50, and that was a $125 card, somebody said. There's Logan Webb. Two autographs in the entire first case. We'll see what we get out of this next case. Mango, thank you very much. We had coffee once in my life. I was four years old, and my mom gave me a tablespoon of it because I wanted to try it, and I spit it out. And then um, Heather came along and has had me try coffee three times since then, and she always bursts out laughing because of my facial expressions when trying it, trying to hide my um, displeasure for the taste. I'm like, mm, yeah, that's pretty good. Thad M says, just stopping by. Good luck to everyone tonight. Thad, thanks very much for being here. But so far, we're off to a slow start. We only have two autographs out of the entire first case. So we opened 12 boxes and found two autos. There's Chris Bryant. And we're still looking for the SSP, Luis Robert. I'm hoping that we can find it tonight. We still have a bunch of boxes left to do. 23 more boxes after this one. Maybe we'll find it. There's a short print of Thor. Noah Syndergaard. There he is, Thor. Um... Put that one in the sleeve pile. And let's see what else we can find in here. As we go down through the stack, comes the Topps 2030 card. That's going to be a Shohei Otani. Dante says, did you hear the SSSP Robert was pulled last night? I didn't know that. Uh, I saw one SSSP, a super, super, super short print. It was uh, on eBay for 1500 bucks. only one of him rounding the bases. So I guess it's a really tough pull, and I'm hoping that maybe we'll find it. Uh, Call Me T says, appreciate all you do, man. Thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Call Me T and support their channel. Thank you very much for supporting mine. Who do I think will win the MVP, S. Nolan? You can't count out Mike Trout ever. I mean, he's the easy pick right now. He's the best player in the game, so I'm going to say Mike Trout. Tough to tell, though, because the season hasn't already begun. Once it begins and we start to see who's off to a hot start, could be an upset for sure. 
somebody like who started off really hot last year. Anthony Rendon, I think, was really hot last year for a long stretch. Somebody like that could take it. Garrison says, love the channel jabs. Any tips for getting a newbie back into the hobby? I would just say, you know, start um, maybe buying some blasters and going from there. I'm trying to think how I got back. That's pretty much how I got back in the hobby. I started buying blasters again and trying to put a set together. There is Yanni Diaz, gold card. That's a pretty nice card right there. Yanni Diaz had a nice season for the Rays last year after coming over from the Indians. Dallas Keuchel. Mike says Xander Bogarts for MVP. Very well could be. You never know. Yep, no such thing as 90 Fleer Ultra. There's 90, 1991 was the first year they started Fleer Ultra. There's a Sano out of 69. Black Border. Pretty nice card right there. And we got a Tops 2030 of Bryce Harper for Gary. Let's check out the rest of your stack. Are the card shows starting to open back up? I think I heard that there are some card shows out in Ohio this past week or two. There's Luis Robert. We'll get that one in a top letter for you. Very, very nice. Like that one. There's the hit. Trevor's story. And it's another relic out of 199. 40 of 199, Trevor's story. So uh, we have two autographs. Colby Allard back to back. One's a foil. Lots and lots of relics so far. Vincey, thank you very much. Let's see what's in Gary's silver pack. We have yet to find an auto out of this. We've got Sean Yamaguchi, Danny Mendick, Mauricio Dubon, and Sheldon Noisy as the last ones for Gary. So, Gary, thank you very much. Here's Gary's stack, Heather. And now it's time for Pablo. Spot number 14 of the night Get some of these wrappers out of the way when does alan and ginter release i think it releases sometime at the end of july i'll have to double check two autos in a case says lc says luke yeah that's what it's been so far it's not not a guarantee it's just um you're gonna find two three maybe for lucky four autos per case pablo's up right now let's see what we can find for pablo there's your stacks. Lay them all on out. Would love to find the Celebration of Decades card. Although it's... Um, I'm a little bit afraid about that, though. Just because... It's a VIP event that you go to in Las Vegas. And I'm afraid it would be canceled or a lot of the players that are supposed to be there would not be there. And um, so I'm... I don't know. So maybe a lot of the Hall of Famers will probably sit that one out. I saw one golden ticket listed on eBay today for $11,600, I think. So for $11,000, you and a friend could go out to Las Vegas. Dominic says Allegheny County is about ready to close up again. Heather, did you hear that? Better get out to Cheesecake Factory one more time before we can't do that for another three months. There's Wilson Contreras. Wilson Contreras, check out the back of the card. There he is. Looks like he's uh, running some wind sprints right there. When do you get the flea market videos? Um, James, whenever I get those edited, I haven't had a chance to edit that yet, I will likely get it up on maybe Tuesday. We'll do our, our another Mystery Box Monday tomorrow. And then Tuesday, there's a little opening where I'll, I'll either do the baseball card store video or the flea market. We go through this next one. There's Cattell Marte. Had a great season last year. Andrew McCutcheon. There's a gold card of David Bednar. Pittsburgh guy right there. Hometown guy. Like the David Bednar a lot. Hopefully he does good things. Would love to see him end up on the Pirates eventually. That would be pretty cool. Um, I don't know. Was that my, did my stomach just growl, Heather? Heather says yes. I guess that was my stomach. Connor, we did find some Luis Robert cards. 
about one per box on on average. What are we doing on Throwback Thursday? I haven't decided yet, Nolan. I'll let you guys know on Patreon when I do pick out a box. I haven't decided. Um, last drops. I did not see that yet. I haven't really been paying too much attention to what's going on in Seattle. All right. Pablo, let's see. What was that, Heather? Did the bat just fly off the window? I think a bird just, like, kamikaze into the window there. There's a big thud or a bat or something. All right, there's Mookie Betts, 2030. TJ Zook, rookie card. He's another one of the rookies in this set. Michael Kopech, looking for big things from him this year. Do I have any Dom Smith, asked Jack. Um, if I did, he would probably be in a commons box somewhere. I don't really remember ever picking his cards out. So there's a Javi Baez. I would say maybe just go on eBay and type in Dom Smith a lot. You could probably get a bunch of them for a pretty good deal. Cooper says, do you know Nick Lodolo? Yeah, Cincinnati Reds prospect is your neighbor. That's pretty cool. Did you ever get a chance to play catch with him? It would be pretty awesome. I'm sure some of those guys, that sometimes in the winter, are looking for someone to play catch with. Pablo, let's see who you have in your final box here. Pablo's got spot number 14. Best card of the night was a Tommy Edmond out of 50. Scott and Jason think that Otani's due for a big season. Yeah, we'll see about that. I hope so. Otani's cards went way down last year. We'll see if those pop on back up. All right, so here we go. Pablo, let's see what we have for you in your final stack in box number 14. David Bedner leads things off. I haven't seen him. He's a Hulk now, says True Seeker. So he bulked up a little bit. There's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's the hit. Uh, Ike, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. For all you guys that are new subscribers, I really appreciate that. Um, thank you very much for your support. That's a 199 Vladimir Guerrero Jr. It's a nice relic right there, but the problem is we still only have two autographs. So 14 boxes, two autos. That's not a very good percentage. That's one for seven. We're hitting 142 right now for autographs if this was a uh, like a batting average. There's Willie Castro. Scotty says, Kurt Schilling and Drew Bledsoe were neighbors, lived in the same house. That's pretty amazing. Kurt Schilling? Drew Bledsoe, I remember, was a quarterback up there in Boston. Sometimes I would come across some football cards back in the day. There's Christian Yelich. So I do recognize that name. There's that squeaky door. So Heather's back from the shipping room. And got some more team bags, huh? And we go down through the last bit of cards here. Mike Fultonavich. Tree says, well, I opened a jumbo that guarantees an auto, and guess what? I got the old short end of the stick from top. So they didn't even put an auto in there. That's not good. Hey, there we go, Luis Robert. I think this is like a, uh, I forget what they said yesterday, maybe a 15, to, no. Did they say 15? No, it's got more than that. $35 card, maybe Luis Robert Mojo. Nice card right there. Wish that one was numbered. So, Pablo, you got a nice Robert 1985 Mojo card. We'll get that one top loaded up for you. And what's my best ever pull from Clearly Authentic? Well, this year it was a one-of-one one Aristide Sakino. Here we go. Jake, you're up right now. I can't remember what it was last year. Sometimes all the breaks kind of run together. The base Robert was $15, says James. Maybe I was right then. Two, two, there we go. Any short prints yet? We haven't pulled the uh, any of the short prints. We have pulled short prints, James, but no um, SSPs. All right, Jake, here we go. Spot number 15. What can we find for you?
Colorado card breaks this year. What's up? Thanks for checking in tonight. Derek says, best channel by far on here. Great knowledge. Thank you for the kind words, Derek. I really appreciate that. And uh, Scott says, man, all relics and no autos. We have two autos tonight out of 15. <laughs> here we go with our next stack here. Look, there's Luis Severino. We got a short print. Luis Severino celebrating in the uh, pl in the playoffs right there. Bring it home postseason. Pretty nice one right there. Luis Severino doing pretty well. Colorado Car Breaks, how are you doing? Hopefully you had a good weekend. Let's see what we have coming up next. What was the best pull out of the Jumbos? Well, we had Luis Roberts short print and a Mookie Betts super short print. There's DJ Stewart. That one's 141 of 2020. The base cards for this, not that desirable. The Severino is a $25 card, says Jack. Really, the only thing that, um, for my um, personal opinion, this is just my opinion, it's the uh, value of these are going to be the, the short prints, the super short prints. The base of Series 2 is very watered down. There we go. Matt Beatty, our third autograph. So there we go. Now our batting average is up to 200, hitting 3 out of 15. Matt Beatty, our third autograph out of 15 boxes. Nice on-card 1985 style design. Congratulations, Jake, on finding an autograph. Jack says, hallelujah. We have finally found an auto. So that's our third one. Maybe it's um, maybe it's going to be two autos per box. And some of you will get a bonus auto. Like, out of these silver packs, I would assume that we would probably have at least a couple autos coming out of these. We'll see. Jack McNeil says that Beatty Auto is going for 10 bucks on eBay. That's better than like a $2 relic, depending on who it is. Yeah, the McCutcheon SP card with his shirt opened up is going crazy. It's just going to end up being a $50 box next year. You might see this card lose half of its value and go down to $50 if, if Robert is a bust. But I'm sure hoping that's not the case. If Robert's a bust and all the other rookies don't really do anything, like become stars, could happen. There is a Jaime Barria. That one's three out of 69. I'll tell you what, the Series 1 from 2019, that ended up going down to around $50 or maybe even less than that. I think I saw some specials before Christmas where the 2019 Series 1 box was like going for like $39 um, on like Steel City Collectibles. Of course, now it's probably like a $65 box since everything has gone back up. Series 1 from 2019 didn't have a very good rookie class either besides Lariano and Kopech and Jeff McNeil in there. And even those guys still even aren't big rookie names. There's Mike Ford. That is a gold card. Looks like he's about he's, – is he, is he bat flipping a walk there? Uh, that's out of 2020. Altuve and Elvis Andrews. Check out these cards real quick and see what you have at the bottom of your stack here. Jacob DeGrom, Significant Statistics. Series 1, you can find that everywhere. Still, UNC. That's why a lot of those repacks at Target, uh, those yellow boxes, I think they're... They probably just did those repacks just to get rid of all the Series 1 in their inventory. Like, yeah, let's just do these repack boxes. Give everybody three packs of Series 1. Undisturbed, so that their target only has the MLB stickers. All right, Jake, here we go. Spot number 15. Looking for... We already got the autograph out of this. Here's a King Felix, Felix Hernandez. 817 of 2020. That's a nice one. Fiberlight says, I'd say you're due for a huge hit soon to pay you back for all the relics. That's out of 299. Jorge Soler. I hope so. Uh, I would hope that each case would have at least one big hit in there. We'll see. So far, we haven't found anything big yet in terms of hits. There's Mike Trout. 
Line card says, hey, I have the bat down Acuna. Should I hold on to it or sell it? I would hold on to it. I think that if you think Acuna is going to keep getting better, hold on to it. If you think he's reached his height of his potential, then sell it. There's Luis Robert, rookie card. We'll get that one top loaded up for Jake. And let's see what else we got in here. Just some base cards and a Javi Baez, 1985. Again, it says, missed your videos for a while. Glad to be back. Finally hit 1K on YouTube. Gannon, congrats. 1K is a nice one, a nice number there. And Alan says, just curious, does anyone know what the big mystery box Target is selling is all about? I think it's mostly all about getting rid of the Series 1 overstock on their shelves. That yellow box, there's been some Series 2 cards in there. But um, from 2019, overall, for $17.99... I would probably pass on that. Jake, here is your second box. Let's see what we can find for you. Spot number 16. Matt is looking for the celebration of decades. There's only 50 of those out there. I think it might have been 25 in Series 1 and 25 in Series 2. What it is, it's a golden ticket. It looks just like a little fold-up book. Kind of like those little booklets that you got out of like 92 Triple Play, I think, that you could like unfurl them and like scratch off stuff. Um, we'll see. If, if we pull one of those, that'd be pretty awesome. That's like a $12,000 pool right there. Shy City hasn't found anything in retail. Retail is, um, I don't know, kind of rough the past couple months. All right, so here we go, Jake. Let's start out your stack and see what we can find. There's Luis Robert rookie card. It's a good way to start off. Yeah, Series 2 at least has a nice-looking box, says Skylar. That's for sure. It's a big black mystery box. I haven't seen that one yet. I'll have to keep my eyes out for it. Is it baseball cards? It sounds kind of interesting. Might have to start going out there over the next couple of weeks and seeing if I can find one to open up and see what it's all about. There is a Raphael Devers significant statistics card. Dallas Keuchel. There's Kutch and his... Phillies, kind of 80s style looking uniform right there. Next half of this stack. Bowman is still hard to find, the brother. I agree with that. Baltimore Orioles team card, 525. I think you'll probably find some Series 2 coming up on the shelves this coming week if you keep your eye out. There's a Clayton Kershaw blue. Not numbered, but still kind of cool. Mr. K says, do not send Junior a rookie card to be autographed. That's Yeah, that's probably a bad idea. You may not uh, see that card again. I'm sure he gets millions of requests like that. Am I going to do a retail review? Yeah, I'll do a retail review. Brad says, hey, Jabs, is my brother blocked from the chat? His name is Brian Smith. Not that I know of, um, unless some somebody accidentally blocked him by mistake. Sometimes that has happened before. Has he tried to comment? Have him comment. We'll see if it comes up. Brian Smith should not be um, blocked. There's Luis Robert rookie card. Another one for a top loader. Hey, we got a short print of Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos in his airbrushed Reds uniform right there, rounding the bases. Baseball Brody, thank you very much for the kind words. Um, Heather, can you make a note to check out Brian Smith for me, please? Let's see if we can figure out what happened with him and get him reinstated. Brian Smith is a really nice guy. Gave all of his cards to Michael Q out of the prison break. There's Tom Eshelman gold. And last card there is Reynaldo Lopez. 
Uh, Westchester says, dang, I'm new to collecting, but I'm loving the jabs. Might have to make this my weekly splurge. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Hope you could stop in weekly with us. Usually, I think we'll be live on Wednesdays and Sundays. Wednesdays and Sundays evenings, breaking something. Scott says the Patriots signed Cam Newton. I know he's a quarterback. That's about it. Don't know much about him beyond that. I don't follow football whatsoever. I guess he'll be taking over Tom Brady's position. All right, here we go. Jake, let's see what we have for you in your second box. There is G-Man Choi gold card. We got a 2030 Cody Bellinger right there, which just fell out of my hand. Get that in the sleeve pile. There we go. There's the hit. It's Reese Hoskins. So we have another relic. We are three out of 16 with the relics right now. Reese Hoskins. It's number out of 199 at least. Reese Hoskins game used jersey. Oh, so many relics. Tony says, hey, Jabs, hope you're having a great Sunday. What are the next coming breaks? Tony, I just sent your stuff out to you. At least I packaged it up. It's going to be, uh, it's all packaged up, ready to go. We'll get that out tomorrow. Next break is going to be um, Wednesday, and it's going to be Prism Quick Pitch. The Hoskins Relic is a $7 card, says Jack. There's a Wilson Contreras gold. Check out the rest of these and then get into your silver pack. Three out of 16. Three autos and 16 boxes. Yeah, we are going for the super short prints. Have yet to find it. Here we go. Silver packs. We've got Javi Baez, Bregman, Ricky Henderson, and Quan Yun Kim is the last one right there for Jake. So, Jake, your first box was better, in my opinion, than that one, but thank you very much for buying it. You got a couple of Luis Roberts out of that box, at least. And, Curtis, you're up right now with spot number 17 and 18. So, you have the what is this? Halfway through the official halfway box of the break. It'll be number 18. And we have seen some Akiyama cards, but no autos of him yet. Let's get Curtis's cards put there. Edmund is a stud, says Tyler. Yep, people have been telling me that. All right, Curtis, spot number 17. I don't know much about Byron Laura, so I can't really let you know. A good scouting report on him. I have to do a little research. Austin Farmer is kind of like the channel um, MLB pipeline guy that knows all about that stuff. Uncle Pete, very, very optimistic, says, Trout autograph incoming. Let's see. I hope so. Um, that would be quite a pull for sure. Because Trout doesn't sign that often. Most of Trout autos go in the high-end stuff. Like Diamond Icons and Tier 1 and stuff like that. Decade's best Strasburg card. Yep, Luis Robert is the main pull for Series 2, Dark. And uh, beyond him, like, there's not much else in the way of rookie cards whatsoever in terms of value. I mean, Series 1 has nice ones like Bichette, Jordan Alvarez, Gavin Lux. There's Pete Alonso. David just joined the stream. Best card so far is Tommy Edmond Auto out of 75. We've pulled three autographs out of the Grand Tour. This is our 17th box. Mason said, this is my first time I've ever watched anything like this. Pretty cool. Thanks. We do these every week. At least one, probably usually two a week recently. Anthony says, how do I purchase cards from your breaks? I sell them on my Patreon page, which is linked in the description if you'd like to check it out. 
Thad says, any picks for Rookie of the Year? Could be someone that gets really hot. Yeah, that's true. If I was picking a Rookie of the Year from this series, Luis Robert would be the easy one for, for the AL. I think that he would be pretty good. And I would not. I would also keep an eye on Karinchak as well. There's Bo Bichette. Turn him around. Tops 20, 30 card. David said, I would say that the rookie of the year goes to any player who can make it through the whole season. We're going to be seeing some players not make it because of the virus. There's Carl Yastrzemski. Short print card. Very nice. Get that one sleeved up for you. Grandfather of Mike Yastrzemski. Chemgeek pulled a Luis Robert short print out of opening day. Congratulations. That card is exactly identical to this card in this release. The only difference is they has the opening day insignia at the bottom. There's a Lindor 2030. That's a pretty nice card. There's my guy, Tyler Glass. Now, I love this guy. Hopefully, he wins the Cy Young Award this year in the AL. At least, I'm hoping that he does. Carly Ostromsky short print, $125? No way. There's no way that's worth that much. Really? There is Eric Sogar. 15 is more like it. Uh, you're looking at it. That's like an SSP price right there. There's Luis Robert. Get that one top loaded up for you. So Curtis has Luis Robert. And we've also opened 17 silver packs after this one. And we don't have a single autograph out of those silver packs yet. So the jumbo silver packs were much better, I found. Um, it was like, I feel like it was roughly one in every eight or so silver packs from jumbo. Had an auto. Jack said he misclicked. That makes sense. Last pack for Curtis. Let's see what we can find for you, Curtis. We've got Lamont Wade Jr. right there. Got a Mike Trout Significant Statistics card, which is a pretty nice one. Let's find the hit in here. Ken Geek said, I did find some 2019 Donruss earlier for like five bucks a pack. That's not too bad. At least you found something. There's Fernando Tatis Jr. 2030 card. And go through this last stack and see what we have hiding out in here for you. There's the hit. It's Manny Machado. It's another relic. And it looks to be a gold. No, it's not a gold. It's just the Padres brownish color right there. Manny Machado game used bat, which I do like the bats more than the jerseys. We're three out of 17 right now. Kemge says, unfortunately, I biked six miles to get him, and Walmart uh, made him seem like they had Gypsy Queen. So you biked six miles to try to get Gypsy Queen. They didn't have him. Instead, they had Don Rust. That's terrible. Uh, Uncle Pete says, Manny ruined his career. Changed my mind. Manny Machado struggled to hit 260 last year. Definitely had a downturn. Going to a big, big park out there. He went from one of the greatest hitters parks in all of baseball at Camden Yards to one of the toughest at Petco. Curtis Box number one's in the books. Here's the official halfway point of tonight. Box number 18 for Curtis. Jacob thinks the Giants will be a good team with Joey Barton and the other prospects. I'm looking forward to seeing Madison Bumgarner face off against his former team, the Giants. Of course, Mad Bum's no longer on the Giants, in case you missed it. He's out in Arizona now. Yeah, Landon, we ship all the cards. All cards ship. Um, Heather sleeves them up and team bags them as we go. So she literally has everything done. Up, She's halfway through Curtis's last box, number 17. Everything else is all nice and organized right now. Probably send these out in like 500-count boxes or so. Whenever they hit the mail. Curtis's Patreon package was just shipped on Saturday. So these will be in his next month's, his July one. The one and only said, I got my 2020 Series 1 and 2020 Donra sets all organized while listening in. That's pretty awesome. So I'm sure there's some folks out there organizing cards right now while listening into the breaks. That seems to be a, you know, what... 
some people have said that they've done. There's a Bob Gibson pulled two of his autos that are clearly authentic. Very, very nice. I always organize by the number one I do my cards. Um, there's a couple ways you can sort your cards for for uh, doing a set. When I was a kid, I used to organize by hundreds first. And then after I would organize them by hundreds, I would go back and break them into tens. And then after I break them into tens, thank you, Scotty Cravesmore. Uh, I try to get them shipped. Sometimes there's some some tiers and stuff like sometimes the three dollar tiers get a little behind and they might take a little over thirty days to get them out. But um, I try to get everything. If you have a package you get every month, I get your cards in every monthly package that I send out. And then after I do them by tens, I do them by ones, but. The last set that I sorted in a large scale, there's Miguel Sano out of 199. Another hit. So three out of 18. Heather, what's that average? Three divided by one six. We're hitting 167 right now as our batting average. Uh, last big break I did, um, I organized it by number and put them in order. I think it was pro debut. I would always do pro debut by number. And then I would uh, research like uh, all the different teams and made it easier to to organize the cards that way. For that one, I did it just straight by the. Um, I think it was like, maybe like three hundred cards. I had like thirty stacks, and I did it by the tens digits. Nanzi said, "Overall, this is a horrible release, especially hobby. Almost impossible to even get twenty five percent value back. Seems like they're they are trying to push everyone into buying jumbos." But I'll still buy because I love collecting. Do you agree, Jabs? Well, I got a hobby box for myself. I don't know if you saw the preview video, but I picked one up for myself. I really wanted a Robert. I wanted to go after Robert's short print. Um, I feel like out of my box, I probably only got maybe about $30 to $40 back. There's Shogo Akiyama. So I guess it all depends on if you can hit short prints or not. I'm really unfortunate that there's so many relics in this. And, um, yeah, I, I can see um, why you would think that Jumbos are the better buy. There's Philip Irvin. Jumbos also have those gold foil cards, which have a lot of value to them. There's not that many of them out there. I think somebody said there's only 700 foils of each. So, I mean, this is a nice... If you like putting sets together, then... This might be fun for you to do. But I guess personally, after seeing this, um, after opening three cases of Jumbo and a case and a half of Hobby, I prefer the Jumbos as well right now. And someone just made a bold statement. that said, Aaron says, Big League is a better product. There, I said it. Aaron, thank you very much. Yeah, Big League, which is under $40 a box. That's a fun one. I, I did like doing Big League. I, I had fun with that. Like, every, every, not every other box, two out of three boxes had autographs in them. It was fun, and it was cheap. Pete Pete says, yeah, Big League was a blast. Alex M says, just put in more autos in your golden. I don't know if it was a logistical thing, why we're not seeing very many autos in this. I can't remember what it was in Series 1, but I feel like it was roughly one auto for every three boxes. Right now, we're one auto for every six boxes. We'll see if we can hit a hot case with lots of autos, but I don't know. We shall see. I'm going to go down through these and see if we can find Lee's Robert. Do I like opening day or big league more? I prefer, honestly, probably big league more because of the... All the autographs that were in there. We opened up, um, what did we do? Had there like 40 boxes of Big League or something like that? And we found 28 autographs, which is pretty crazy. There's Robbie Cano. And I was only expecting to find like seven, and we found 28. So I was just blown away by autograph after autograph. I mean, yeah, there's sticker autos, but still, it's cool to find an autograph when you're not expecting to find one. It's not guaranteed. There's Mike Trout, 2030 for Curtis. I will say, though, if you do have the choice between Series 1 Hobby and Series 2 Hobby, I would go with Series 1. All right, Curtis, let's see what we have for your Series 
to Silver Pack. Jacob, I do think Joey Bart's going to be good. Xander Bogarts. We got a Clemente. That's a nice looking card right there with the black border out of 199. Black and gold card. Love the look of that card. And the last one for Curtis is George Brett, who at 390 in 1980 just came up short of hitting 400. Spot 18 in the books. We have three autographs in 18 boxes. Let's see if we can change our luck here. It appears to be about two autographs per case, and there are 12 boxes per case. David said, I went to Walmart and Myers this week, and they had nothing on the shelves, just Pokemon cards. That's kind of rough. All right, so here we go. Mike, spot number, um, what do you got there, 19. Let's see what we can find for you. Mr. K says, Clemente was even better than people say. Could hit, could run, could field, and man, could he throw. All right, Mike, here we go. Mike looking for... Hopefully an autograph this time. Peacock says, hopefully there's an autograph in this box. And Jackson says, I can't wait to watch baseball again. Me either. Co says, can I run through a few of my rookies? I don't know if they're good enough to sleep. Yeah, you can ask the chat. And um, if I don't catch it, they'll let you know who's good enough to sleep. I would sleep up all Jordan Alvarez, Bo Bichette's, Gavin Lux, and Aristides Aquino's. I'd also do Jesus Lusardo's. And Luis Roberts. Those are the ones that I would put in sleeves for sure. The other ones, uh, I don't know. I'd be fine just leaving them in with the base. There's Keston Hira, short print. Keston Hira, short print cards are upside down. In Series 2, which makes it easier for me to spot them. I'm glad they did that. Also, what's different this year with Series 2 is the jumbo packs. All the inserts are at the very end. Bud Stoney says he sleeves all the rookies, even guys like James Marvel. And there we go, Luis Robert, 1985 style card. Very nice. Congrats on that one. I think someone said that's a $15 card right there. Yeah, that's true. Any one of them could be the next Mike Trout. You never know. When will there be another Mike Trout? It might be another 20, 30 years till we see another guy that's even as good as Trout is. Jeter's Life says, Hey, Jabs, it's Fly Guy Life. Just changed the name off a bit. How's everything been during the pandemic? Sorry I've been on the low lately. Work's been crazy. Jeter's Life, thank you very much. Um, Hanging in there, you know, trying to stay safe and everything and been able to go out a little bit recently. Places have opened back up, but I don't know how long that's going to last with reports of uh, the virus popping back up. Mill 2K is here. Says, hi, Jabs. Hey, everybody. Hope you all are having a great weekend. Mill 2K, thank you very much. And Daddy Daughter's got Jeter's Life right there. Thank you very much, Daddy Daughter. Tyler says, are there case hits? I don't think so. You know how Panini has, like, the downtown as a case hit? Tops doesn't do that, at least in this release. All right, so here we go. Mike, spot number 19. Madison, we don't do fan mail anymore. Sometimes for um, sometimes I get a couple packages, I'll do one for a Patreon-only exclusive, but um, that's maybe about once a month or so. There's Mookie Betts. There's Shogo Akiyama. I've been sleeping him because of what Last Rouse Baseball told me. They said he was going to be pretty darn good. I don't know much about him because he's a Japanese import. But I guess we'll see. I mean, I'll see a lot of him with the Reds. The Pirates, which is my team, will be playing the Reds quite a lot. They always do. But this season, even more than ever, as most of the games will be played in division. There's Javi Baez, 20-30. I don't watch the KBO. I know the KBO has been going on since the beginning of May. But I don't have cable to watch it, so I just haven't watched it. Plus, I don't know any of the players or anything, so um, it's not something that I've invested any time into seeing. I'm just patiently waiting for real baseball to come back. Not that KBO isn't real baseball, but waiting for the baseball that I love, which is MLB baseball. 
All right, Mike, here we go. Spot number 19. Let's see what we can find for you. Maybe we're due for an autograph. It's been a little while. We're still sitting on three autographs, and this is our 19th box. Chemgeek just finally signed up on Patreon. Thanks, man. Um, next, probably our next opportunities for buy-ins. I'll probably have a buy-in for Mystery Box Monday. And uh, then Quick Pitch for Prison Witch comes out on Wednesday. Frankie Lindor, Game Used Bat. Pretty cool card right there out of 199 Number two of 199 Frankie Lindor. That is uh, worth three for 19 right now for hits. Tyler asked, do I think I've opened over a million packs yet? Well... Let's see. I have no idea. I, I don't think it's that many. Um, I think maybe 100,000 would be a better estimate. We've been doing these breaks regularly for about three years now, I think. That's a lot of packs. There's Christian Yelich, 2030 card. What type of video are you going to do next, says Madison. Good question. We'll do Mystery Box Monday tomorrow. There's Garrett Stubbs, 1640. Then Tuesday, I'll either do a $100 uh, budget at the um, flea market, or maybe I'll do my Walmart video. I, I haven't done that yet for June, and June's almost over, so maybe I'll do the Walmart $100 one because I don't want to uh, not do that and miss out on getting that one up. So, Mike, those are your silver cards. And Heather says, I missed a super chat. It is from Silent Collector with some cherry pie. We actually have it. Do you think those cherries are still good? Heather bought some fresh cherries because she literally is the greatest cook of all time. Um, I'm not just even saying that because she's sitting right here. Like, the cherry pie that she made last time, might have been one of the best things that I've ever, ever tasted. Like, I don't think I've ever had a better cherry pie, and I love cherry pie. Um, so I think she may be using those cherries for some more cherry pie very soon. And um, I cannot wait. Silent Collector, thank you very much for the cherry pie emoji. And Michael's up right now, spot number 20. What happened to Blaster Box Friday, asked Thomas. Are you talking about Face Off Friday? That was a, um, we didn't do one this Friday because this just came out. But... We did do a face-off Friday on Patreon, so if you have a Patreon account, you're able to see it there, the Patreon-only exclusive video. So we did still do one. It was just uh, only viewable on Patreon because I, I don't want to overkill you with three videos on Friday. So here we go. Michael, spot number 20. Mark Teixeira. No way he, he's not getting into the hall. Teixeira is a great player, though. Colorado Card Break says Silent Collector is the man. Thank you very much, Colorado Card Breaks. Yeah, Silent Collector, uh, definitely a great subscriber. What's my best card ever? Probably the Cy Young T206 card. Ben says the card section in, in my Walmart is nothing but empty boxes. Same here. That's mostly what it is. So I think for one, my next Walmart video... These cards look very similar. Very, very similar um, pitching styles right there almost. I almost thought we had a double there for a second. I had to pause and look. All right, let's see what we have. Uh, Skylar, I wish there was a tier on Patreon for just all the extra videos and nothing else. We actually do have that, Skylar. It's the $9 tier, and you get all of the uh, videos that I post each month. And um, you also can access the breaks. But uh, you don't have the pack sent to each month. There's Brock Burke, short print, with uh, some training balls in the glove right there from Michael. So I got a short print. What else do we have there? Ryan O'Hearn is in there. All right, let's see what else we can find from Michael J. Dom says, you should make a best hit compilation. That's not a bad idea. Um, I've been thinking about doing something like that, but, um, I'll have to talk to Heather about it and see if, would you like to be my editor, Heather, and do a top 10 compilation or something like that? She's shaking her head. Yes. You serious? I'll have to figure out how to do that. 
All right, so we have a vintage stock card right here of Jan Gomes. That's going to be out of 99, 45, 99. Jan Gomes, vintage stock. Next pack up for Michael. Let's see if we can add anything else to your sleeve pile or top load pile. T. T. Turi says, Hey, my friend, I just subscribed yesterday to the channel. Thank you very much. Thank you for everybody that has subscribed. I think uh, coming into this break, we're seven subscribers away from 65,000. So thank you very much for everybody for supporting the channel. There's Mil2K11 says, Samojo to help find a sweet auto. Keep up the great work, Jabs. You're the best box and case breaker on YouTube. Mil2K, thank you very much for the support. And Bearded Collector adds a super happy smiley face. Thanks, guys. Um, hopefully that brings us some luck to find an autograph because we've been struggling throughout this break to find much autos or value at all. There's Alex Bregman. Top Series 2 has kind of been a disappointment so far. This is our 20th box, and we only have three autographs for the entire night. If this was big league right now, we probably would have about 12, 13, 14 autographs already lined up on the table um, I'm not sure why they are so stingy with the autos with this, but there's Gavin Lux 2030. Personally, after seeing this, um, I did buy one box of these for myself and I did a preview video on it. I don't think I would buy another one. Um, Patriots just got fined 1.1 million, says Jay Sloan. What the heck did they do? There's Luis Orias. Daddy Daughter said they put all the autos in big league. It seems that they did break away. Thank you very much. Were you the 65,000th? I appreciate that. Uh, Mill 2K says, Top Space has always been difficult to get autos. Off you get a common player. I said when we were coming into this that I was expecting one-third to be autos and two-thirds to be relics. But instead, it's been one-sixth autos and five-six relics, which I feel like the ratio is worse than what I remember. I was definitely expecting more relics than autos out of this, but not this to this extreme. Mill 2K, couldn't it be one-tenth? Yeah, that would be really bad. Uh, Bearded Collector says, I can't believe how loaded Big League has been, especially with the odds on the packs. Yeah, Big League is definitely a loaded set for the value. There we go, another relic. Anthony Rizzo, 1985. Um, game used memorabilia. And a card like that usually is worth about three to five bucks, unfortunately. Somewhere in there. There's Amber. Hey, Amber from New Zealand is back. Welcome back. There is Ronald Guzman. That one's eight twenty-nine. Three autos, twenty boxes. We're about ready to go one for seven. Very soon. Drop back down to one forty-two batting average. There is Vladimir Guerrero. 2030. Ben says, without baseball, jabs is my great nightly entertainment. Thank you very much for watching the break. Yeah, baseball is starting up again soon. I don't know what they're going to do for spring training, though, in terms of games. There's D.D. Gregorius, 1475. As you know, with spring training, there's often games that go on for like a month. They work out for a week or two, and then the games get started down there in Florida and out in Arizona. Usually the end of February, and they play a whole month in March, but with uh, all the different teams playing in different locations, mostly at their home ballparks, I don't know if we're going to get any exhibition games that are going to be televised or not. Shogo Akiyama, maybe the Mets versus Yankees may play some exhibition games, and those will be on TV. Um, I don't know. I'd like to see some, some actual real baseball with some actual real MLB players in some actual real MLB uniforms again. We'll see. Uh, Victor's up next in spot number 21. But it looks like opening day is going to be July 24th, so we have less than a month until baseball is going to be back. We're not going to be able to go to the games, it looks like, at least in most locations, but it'll still be fun to watch on MLB.tv. Heather, we're going to be watching a lot of baseball. Are you up for it? Heather says, yes. Heather knows a lot about baseball now. 
You just said today, Miguel Cabrera playing first base. Like, most women don't know who Miguel Cabrera are or is. Here we go. Victor Dascanio for spot number 21. Caden definitely likes jumbos better than hobbies. And Amber says, I'm still not confident the season's going to happen. I'm just going to sit back and wait for it and hopefully it gets started. We'll see. I would hate for it to uh, hate for it to be like uh, I don't know, just postponed and ended. There's a fake Cody Bellinger relic that's not real, just a manufactured patch. Julian says finally a Patreon member watching with my girlfriend Rebecca tonight. You're the man, Jabs. Julian, thank you for signing up on Patreon. I hope that it will see you in a break pretty soon. Uh, coming up on Patreon, I'll be posting some opportunities, including Mystery Box Monday, and then a break of the brand new Quick Pitch from Panini. There's Corey Seager's short print getting stretched out there in the on-deck circle. That's a pretty cool one. And David Harrison says, for Heather's Coffee Fund, great job, David. Thank you very much. Well, there's another Coffee Fund tip. Heather's got everything sleeved up. Um, I'll just grab one off this top. She already has Michael's cards all sleeved up and team bagged and everything. And um, I don't know what I would do without you, Heather. Like, um, there's, I don't know, literally, I would probably just, um, I don't know, have to never leave my house and just sleeve and team bag cards all day long. So here we go, Victor. Let's see what we can find for you. Pete Pete says, surely we'll get back to Tom's that people will hate manufactured relics. I think they do know that manufactured relic that we just saw, that's not going to be our hit. They'll put an extra hit in here. There's Jason Hayward, gold. So you'll see an, a relic more than likely coming up, or maybe an autograph. It's been, it looks like it's going to be about two autos per case. We pulled two autos in case one, and one auto so far in this second case. David said, "Do you think they'll go back? Do you go back to teaching sometime this year? Uh, I hope so. Hopefully, we can get back to uh, normal." And John says, "I don't know what you would do without Heather. That's right. I don't know what I would do either." Victor, middle spot right now. Zach says, "How many am I opening? Three cases worth. Thirty-six boxes." Any Andrew McCutcheons yet? There's a Tatis 2030. Hello to Desmond. Um, no McCutcheons yet. We did pull one out of the Jumbo. We also pulled a, a Luis Robert short print out of Jumbo, but since that, nothing uh, for today in Hobby in terms of like valuable short prints. There's a nice Pete Alonso 2030. Uh, the happy baseball collector just Googled the cuts card to see the photo. Yeah, that was a funny one for sure. We may have another hit coming up soon. It is... How long has Heather been helping me with the breaks? Oh, I don't know. A few months. She saw my system, and she's like, there's got to be a better way to be a little more organized here and she kind of overhauled everything and it's she really has um overhauled it for sure made it way better much more efficient everybody that buys in the breaks has their own shelf and their own spot on the shelf like victor's got his own spot on the v shelf v w x y z all together on one shelf all right, so here we go. Victor's spot number 21. This is your last stack. I do believe that you are going to have a, a relic. Here comes the relic. Julian says, whoops, forgot to say hi to Heather. She actually stepped out for a second, but she'll be back. I'll say hello. Thank you very much for the support, Julian. And there it is, Chris Bryant. We are officially three out of 21. Chris Bryant game use jersey. Three autos out of 21 boxes. So, again, we're one for seven, hitting 142, which um, is not good. I was hoping we'd be hitting about 333 right now. 
Heather's back. Uh, Heather, Julian super chatted and said he forgot to say hi to you, so. Hello, she just waved. I like the hairstyle, by the way. I don't really see that too often. Looking good with a bun up on top. Doesn't have a ponytail, so what did you do? Just put a pen in the middle of the hair? Impressive. There's a Beau Bichette. There should be some ponytail holders up in Olivia's room if you need one. Somewhere up there. I don't... There's a Trevor Williams Gold. Nicholas says, long time watcher. Thanks, man. Glad to have you here. Dom says, Wiffle Ball Home Run Derby for July 4th. Winner gets Chef Supreme Heather Cherry Pie. I love that idea. We should have another Home Run Derby. Let's see, we got Hunter Harvey, Brandon Lau, Clemente again, and Masahiro Tanaka for Victor. That's exciting, huh? But I just passed you a little private note. Steve, you're up right now, spot number 22. Maybe you'll get the Andrew McCutcheon in here. Andrew McCutcheon's number is 22. Maybe you'll get the short print. Let's hope that you do, as it's a super valuable card now. At least for now. I wonder what these numbers mean on the box. See this printed number right here? 171-17. What do you think that means, Heather? I opened up a 90 score box on the Patreon-only tossback video. And it was marked like December 17th, 1989. So I wonder if that has anything, what that exactly stands for. Some sort of code. Steven's up right now. Best of luck to you, Steven, in spot number 22. Hopefully we can find another autograph. We're, I feel like out of the next three boxes, we'll have one autograph at least. Because we've only found one autograph from this entire case, and this is box number nine from that case. Michael is in the on deck circle. Michael H. Thank you, Vincey. Uh, Amber, there are 36 total spots. We're on 22. Um, Jamie, best card so far is Tommy Edden on a 50 autograph. The Grim Ripper says, Evening all, another cool break. Chris Bryant game used card was awesome. Thank you very much, Grim Ripper. Get that show go in the sleeve pile. Hope you guys will check out Grim Ripper's channel. And there's a short print of Dave Winfield. Right on the bases right there. Daddy Daughter's got the link right there if you'd like to check out the Grim Ripper's channel. And Will Finn says, love the channel. Thanks, man. I appreciate the support. There's Nolan Arenado, Tops 2030, Left Behind Times, doing pretty well. Hopefully you're doing great also. Hopefully everybody had a nice weekend. 1976, Jan Gomes out of 76. Would love to find the um, Luis Robert like that. There's one on eBay right now for, I think, 1500 bucks. I saw somebody say they needed penny sleeves badly. Yeah, but I just uh, picked up some penny sleeves at the card store. That's the nice thing. If you have an LCS, they, are, they won't price gouge you like eBay will. When I went to, out to Triple Play Vintage, penny sleeves were a dollar. A pack of 25 top loaders was still $2. Westchester, you may want to just try going on BCW's website and buying directly from them. Maybe buying in bulk. I forget what you have to spend to get free shipping, but uh, BCW supplies are usually a little cheaper, and they're just as good. They get the job done. I don't know if they're still open right now. I know they were closed for a while. There's Cody Bellinger, tops 2030. Third Mill Sports Card says that Triple Play is your LCS. That's pretty awesome. My brother and I were in there Friday. We were in there Friday. We went to the flea market at Rogers, and then we headed on up to Cuyahoga Falls to check out that store, and it was pretty darn good. I spent 200 bucks there. So I'm thinking I'm going to make that a regular series, spending $200 at the LCS. There is Juan Soto and Ryan McMahon. It's the last one there. Bill says BCW is back up and running. That's good news. So looks like um, for a while there, the prices on supplies were really going up as the inventory was dwindling. 
And uh, we're seeing packs of top loaders going for like 10 bucks a piece on eBay, which is crazy. All right, Steve, let's see what you have. If you have an autograph or a relic, we'll find out very soon. Could be in this stack. Frank says, I was at Rogers Friday. Did you see the 68 Ryan Creek that was trimmed? No, I didn't see that. Where was that at? I ended up buying a mantle card there on Friday. I don't, didn't see a Ryan in the showcase there, though. Uh, maybe it was at um, Baseball Card Castle. We skipped that table. There we go. There's the biggest hit of the night. Future Hall of Famer, Clayton Kershaw. Decades best card. It's about time we get a big time auto. Our very first big time auto of the night. And out of 22 boxes, this is only the fourth autograph that we found, but it is a good one. Clayton Kershaw, Decades Best. Like that one a lot. So, Steven, congratulations on this. And how about the numbering on this bad boy? Five of five. Let's break out the one touch for this bad boy. Congratulations, five of five, Clayton Kershaw. You've got a card worth probably a couple hundred dollars right there, Clayton Kershaw. We'll get it all sleeved up. and um, It's not a chrome card, but I'm going to still throw a penny sleeve over top of it since it is a sticker auto. We don't want that getting scuffed up at all. Congratulations on the Kershaw. Nice looking card right there. Out of just five i don't know five of five clayton kershaw what would you say heather on this i would give this card probably a do i want to go as high as three hundred dollars or is that low very nice what do you guys think that one goes for kershaw five of five that's the case hit there's no such thing as case hit i don't believe shy city says 200 to 300 dollars and heather said i missed a super chat let me go back and double check uh, must have come right around the Kershaw. It's random card rips with Ryan. Says, what hobby boxes will we be opening next week? Thank you. Random card rips. Sorry that I missed your super chat there. We had the big old Kershaw up here. Daddy Daughter's got the link right there if you guys would like to check out their channel. Um, next week, we'll be doing Panini Quick Pitch, Prism Quick Pitch, and um, then maybe... Some more big league. I've really enjoyed big league. I'm not sure. I know on Wednesday it's going to be quick pitch for sure. The next Sunday, maybe some quick pitch, maybe some jumbos of series two, but I think we may call it a day with the hobbies. Although right now the hobbies are slowly coming back to redeem themselves after an extremely slow, slow start. Clayton Kershaw out of five. Let's see if we can start pulling some good stuff now. So four autos and 22 boxes. Kershaw goes for around $200 on recently sold. Is that out of five? Somebody else pulled an out of five Kershaw already? That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I would say at least $200 on the card. I guess $300. Steven, the big winner of the night. Let's check out your silver pack and see if you have a bonus auto in there. We're due for one. Zach Collins, Ozzy Albies, Carter Kibum, and Javi Baez is the last one. So there's the rest of Steven's cards for the sleeves. Box number 23 is for Michael. Best of luck to you, Michael. Let's see what you can find. See if you can find anything near as good as the Kershaw. Hopefully you can. Get your packs taken out and put on the screen here. Yeah, let's put all Robert cards in a top loader. I think that one's worth like 10 bucks. We'll still top load it. Okay, Michael. Spot number 23. I guess that's fitting, right? Michael Jordan, 23. Do you remember him, Heather? Heather gave me a sort of kind of reaction right there. Michael Jordan, 1991 Upper Deck. Certainly a hot card right now. The short print, him hitting in the batting cage in a White Sox uniform. All right, Michael, here we go. Spot number 23. 
Maybe you'll find another famous White Sox. Luis Robert. Well, he's, I mean, I guess he's famous. There's Gary Carter short print. Nice one right there. Jamie's got to take off. Have a great night, Jamie. Thank you very much for being here. You can check in what's in that last case on the replay. Hopefully there's another big hit in there like the Kershaw. We'll see. Hopefully you find that Luis Robert. Super, super short print. There's J up gold. What do I do with all the base? All these base cards, Heather team bags up and sleeves up the top rookies and like the cool inserts like this one, the numbered inserts. She sleeves those up, puts them in the middle of the team bags, and then we ship all of the base. And uh, I know a lot of breakers just keep the base for themselves and then sell it in uh, lots. In fact, I just bought a bunch of base of Bowman for 50 some dollars. There's a an Ichiro Gold. That one is going to be out of 50. Six of 50 Ichiro game used jersey. Cool looking card there. Probably about, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks on that one, maybe. Since it is numbered out of 50, that should help the value a little bit. Still not an auto. We are four out of 23. Looks like the ratio is going to be about one out of every six for autographs. Jacob, we only pulled four autographs so far, but the last one was a good one. It was a Clayton Kershaw auto out of five, which was a huge hit. Best hit of the night by far. Here we go, spot number 23. Let's see what we can do for Michael Jacob. I do think Joey Bart is going to be very good. It's Aaron Judge, 2030. We'll get that one sleeved up. There's Luis Robert. We'll get him top loaded up, top rookie card in this class. You could add up every other rookie card in this entire set, and it would not equal the value of that card. If you put a uh, Luis Robert base Rookie card on eBay, you'd sell it for, I don't know, 15 to $20. If you put all the other rookie cards all together in a set and had a big lot of them, oh, you may not get $5 for all of them, I think. That, that's I'm actually being honest about that. There's Christian Yelich, Topps 2030. And you could, if you have the entire set, if you have a bunch of base cards, you can even try it for an experiment and see. Put them both up there for auction. Do like a one-day listing so we get the feedback on that quickly. And let us know. There's Clint Frazier Gold. And Mark Melanson is the last one in that stack. Michael's next stack up. Still looking for... Well, we did get your hit already. Shy City says, you're not wrong, Jabs. Yeah, that's just the way I, I really think that. I think that you may not even get $5 for every other rookie card in the set. I mean, if, if your shipping was $3.99, you might get a dollar. For all the other rookies, and you'd get about 15 for the Robert. Kurt, thank you for the kind words. I really appreciate that. Michael, here we go. Spot number 23. And Jacob, thank you very much on uh, the congratulations. 65k thank you guys for helping me get there it would not be possible without all of you folks tuning in each and every night on the channel steve says i'm late what did i miss you missed a huge clinton kershaw pull within the last 10 minutes it was an autograph kershaw out of five what would i rather have tops 2020 series two or series one from 2019 that's a tough question i'm gonna go with series one no i'm gonna go with series two from 2020 because the robert um, again, the rookies in Series 1 from 2019, I mean, Kopech, Lariano, and McNeil are the top ones. But again, there's hardly any value in those uh, as opposed to Robert. Keith says, hi, Heather and Eric. You guys are the best on YouTube. Congratulations on 65,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Can I show you the Clayton Kershaw auto? Heather already has it all um, one touched up, and it's put away. Oh, Heather's going going to the uh, shelf right there. Here it is. Um, no, we did not write on the uh, we didn't write on the, the the one touch. It's in a team bag. Here's here it is. Clayton Kershaw. It's already been processed and ready to go over to the uh, the holding room. Oh, you got the Robert in there too for Steve. Good job, Heather. See how good Heather is, guys, with the hits, making sure everything um, stays. She writes the names on the hits because uh, before my organization was terrible, and um, she's really just helped 
helps so much with everything. Clayton Kershaw to five. Thanks, Heather. Somebody wanted to ask that, and Heather was right on it. Here we go. We got Bellinger, Randy Johnson, Josh Rojas, and there's Luis Roberts. So two Roberts for Michael. Congratulations on that. Here are Michael's sleeve cards. Here's his top-loaded cards, and here's the rest of his base, and here's his name. Next up is Scott S. Scott S. Spot number 24. Here we go. Best of luck to you. This is the very last, the very last box of case number two. And then we will be down to our final case of the night, which has 12 boxes. Seeing what we can pull from there. Best of luck to you, Scott. Baseballs and Hockey Puck says, Heather deserves so much credit for her work. Keep it up, Heather. Yes, she does. How many boxes are in a case, says Jacob. There are 12 hobby boxes in a case. So we have right now, if you want to see what's remaining, we used to have them all lined up along the wall. They're all gone now except for that last case right there. <laughs> Baseballs and Hockey Puck says, forget Trout. Give Heather the MVP. You hear that? You're the MVP. No, you're the MVP. No, you are. Here we go. Let's see what we have for Scott. How do you buy to get cards drawn? Um, are you talking about how do you participate in the breaks there? There's a question I saw from Troy. You have to be a member of my Patreon page. It's $3 per month, and it gives you access to the breaks. You can sign up there if you're interested, and I'll send you a PayPal invoice. Once you pay, your name goes on the list. Matt Massey says, I'm watching you from Rhode Island. I used to love Rhode Island. My family and I would go there every summer. Daddy Daughter's got the link there to Patreon if you'd like to sign up for it, guys. That's $3 per month. We used to go to Mesquamacit Beach in Rhode Island all the time. That was our kind of like our vacation. We never really went on vacations ever. I think we went on like two vacations to Disney World, but our vacation was always going and seeing our family up in New England. There's Alex Bregman. Miss Quamacit State Beach. I actually went back there with Olivia. I took her to Fenway Park. There's Justin Verlander. So we are four for 24. And Ben is also watching from Rhode Island. Four for 24. Back to hitting uh, 167. Heather, have you ever been to Rhode Island? It's a nice little state for sure. Philip says, Jabs, your brakes are so good. Philip, thank you very much. Southern Oregon, I've never been there before. Did I say that right? How do you say it, Heather? Is it Oregon or Oregon? Heather says Oregon. <laughs> I say Oregon. Remember playing Oregon Trail all the time? Oh, man, that was a classic on those Apple computers with, like, the green screens. I, used to, I remember playing that in first grade. That was a great game. James Lucas says, I'm right, Oregon. So, Heather, you're going to have to try to break that habit. I'm just teasing you. Let's see what else we can find in here. Um, Seth, thanks for the kind words. That was a fun one for sure. And uh, baseballs and hockey pucks said, I always died near the end of Oregon Trail. Yeah, I'm... That was always a tough one. I remember it was like impossible to beat when I was a kid. Just see how long it could last like into the winter or whatever. We always go and like hunt buffalo and stuff. And sometimes there would be like nothing. You'd have to like like shoot the little birds and get like three pounds of food. And then your whole family would be like starving. If you're younger, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But maybe you can look up Oregon Trail. And it's a, it was a cool game. They used to let us play it in the school back in the day. Let's see what else we can find for Scott. We have his hit already found. It was a Justin Verlander. There's Jose Abreu, gold card, numbered 948. And we have a Sano, significant statistics card. Mike, thank you very much for the kind words. 
spot number 24. This is the last stack of case number two, and this will be the official two-thirds of the way done, Mark. Skyler says, I'm 14, but my social studies teacher made us play it. He was probably way more into it than you were. He's probably like looking over your shoulder and like rooting you on. Glory Days Sports says, congrats on the 65,000 subscribers. Your breaks are awesome. Looking for my first subscriber. Just started the channel yesterday. Glory Days Sports. Who wants to be number one? Heather's looking up your, your link right now, and she'll drop into the chat, and then you guys can all see who is going to be their first subscriber. Welcome to the YouTube creator, the card creator community. There's Robert. Get that one. Top loaded up. Hey, Heather's got the link right there. And there's Yu Chang short print. Very, very nice. Yu Chang. Colin says, for someone who wants to get back into collecting, what type of pack do you recommend that balances value and hits? How about 2020 Big League? Why don't you pick up three boxes of those and you'll probably find two autographs. You can get three boxes for about 100 bucks. As we go through this next pack, Jamie says, I deserve what millions of subscribers. Congrats on 65K. Thank you very much for that, Jamie. And there is Acuna Jr. for Scott. Uh, what baseball stadium do you want to go to, asked Cade. Well, out of, I've been to 21 of them. I would like to go to um, Oracle Park. It used to be known as AT&T Ballpark. Hey, we got a one of one! We've got a one of one printing plate. For a second, I thought it was Lee's runner because of the batting stance, but I see the Texas Rangers logo. It is going to be a one of one printing plate of Jeff Mathis. So, Scott, congratulations for a brief second. It was upside down looking like that. I thought it was a Robert. Look how similar the pictures are. Um,. <laughs> I literally thought that that was the Robert one of one, but it's Jeff Math. It's still a nice one for sure. Usually with these, you can slap a price of a few hundred dollars on there and um, maybe get uh, best offer of something pretty good. So a uh, one of one, Scott. Oh, imagine if that was the Robert one of one. You could put that up there for like 10 grand with the best offer and see what you get. And Chai City says, if it was Robert, maybe you could have gotten 10 grand for it. Doomsday says, that was such a troll by Tops. We all thought it was the one of one, but it wasn't. That would have been crazy. So Scott, you almost had some big time money there um, coming your way with a Robert. Brian Z says business is picking up. We had Clayton Kershaw. Now we had the one of one, almost a Robert one of one. Would have been pretty crazy. Here's your bonus pack. So, Scott, congratulations on the one of one printing plate. Those two will be top loaded. And now we're on to the final case. Eric G, spot number 25. One of one says it'd be a $15,000 card. Here we go. Brand new case. Case number three. Jeff Mathis, yes, catcher. Formerly of the Angels, right? Best of luck to you, Eric. Caden, thank you very much on the well wishes there. Here we go. Spot number 25. Uh, Ryan, we do ship to Canada. Usually I ask that you cover the shipping. I do free shipping in the United States, but shipping to Canada can be pretty crazy, so I would ask that you cover the shipping portion. Spot number 25 for Eric. Let's see if we can find an autograph for you. This is a brand new case. So far, the first two cases have both had just two autographs. Heather, thank you for that. I really needed that. Let's see what we have coming up. We have a foil card coming our way. There's Xander Bogarts. It is a Xander Bogarts like uh, high school prom picture. What do you think of that, Heather? You like that picture? Kind of different. 
There's Walker Bueller. Uh, Jamie says card values are going way down. What, what was that word, Jamie? It says dope. Is that down or up? Is that down up combined? I'm not exactly sure which way that you're indicating right there. It's like a combination of down and up. You made your own word up there. Let's see what we can find now in Eric's first stack. There's an Acuna Junior 2030 card. Get that one sleeved up. Down. Okay. Yeah. Well, some of them are going down. The um, Definitely the Dominguez cards have gone down. Bowman's gone down. But a lot of the vintage stuff is still sky high, especially the junk wax boxes and all those good rookies you can find from those eras are still sky high. All right, next pack up for Eric. Looking for your hit. In spot number 25. I can't believe that we haven't found an autograph yet out of a silver pack. Well, we have like one Luis Robert out of the silver pack. So far, the silver packs have been a big disappointment. The Grim Ripper says, my subs have reached 82. Thank you to those who have joined. Seeking 100. Thanks, Jabs, for the podium to help our channels. The Grim Ripper. I hope you guys will check out the Grim Ripper's channel. And who wants to be number 100? We have over 600 folks watching right now. If 18 of you guys would head over to the Grim Ripper's channel and help them out, one of you could be number 100. Congratulations, Grim Ripper, on moving up the charts. There's Daddy Daughter with the link. And also, Rippin' for Rookie says, congratulations on 65,000 subscribers. I'm hot on your trail. I'm only 64,800 behind you. Rippin' for Rookies, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And uh, I hope that your channel keeps growing. And uh, don't worry, man. You keep making videos. You will continue gaining ground. Don't think of it as you're 64,000 behind. Think of it as maybe you're like two years behind. Maybe in two years, you'll be up here um, in the multi thousands, I think about two, three years ago, I was right around where you were as well. I started my channel in June of 2016. Uh, let's see what we have um, next. Ripping for rookies, we got him. There's the link right there. Any word on the your brother's problem yet? Um, no, I haven't had a chance to go into my. Um, I have to go into my computer, then I have to go into my settings and go into my um, community settings and I have to find your brother's name and I have to see if he was blocked or not which um, I'm guessing that what happened was one of our moderators probably blocked him by accident because sometimes when the chat is moving and sometimes it moves pretty quickly they'll go to click on a name and then your brother will have gotten clicked on by accident Grim is so close to Shy City. What is he at right now? I'll tell you what, Heather. Can you grab my computer? Let's take care of this for Brad and Brian right now. He's at 86. 86. Getting closer. 14 more. There's the hit. It's Alex Bregman. I'm going to try to take care of this right now as we go through this. Uh, Heather, can I talk you through it? And you can do it. There's Alex Bregman. That's the hit. Go to studio. And I have to see where what the page looks like. Now on the left, go over to the, um, the little chat icon. I think it says community or something like that. Yeah, comments. I think it, it'll be. We got to find his account. There is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. We're trying to unlock Brian's. Now, uh, actually go to that little gear down there, I think, that says settings. Trying to help out Brad and Brian. I think that Brian was inadvertently blocked. Now go down to community. Heather's going to try to fix this for you, Brad, right now. And here we go. Here's this silver pack. We had the Bregman as the hit. Try to click on it again now. Scroll down a little bit. There's Sam Hilliard, Chipper Jones, Yachty Molina, and Matt Chapman. You see the blocked users? D 
do a control F, go, go to control F, command F, and type in Brian with a Y, B-R-Y-A-N, and see if it comes up. Eric, you are in the books. What do you get? We get five Brian's coming up. Yep, he is blocked. Brian Smith is blocked with a little, like, I don't even know what that thing is next to his name. Brian Smith with a screaming, is that a tiger or something? I don't know. Uh, I tried to unblock him, but it's spinning, so we'll see if that works. Not sure what happened there. I think he probably got hidden by accident, Brad, so... It's just kind of like... It looks like he's back now. Try Tell him to try it now. I'll save that setting. All right, next up, spot number 26. Jack had a very nice box earlier, and now let's see if uh, he can do it once more. Best of luck to you, Jack. Jack also had a nice run and clearly authentic. He's been on a bit of a winning streak. There's the silver pack. Hey, look, he's back. Brian is back. There's that screaming. What is that? I don't know what his avatar is. Brian, I don't know how you got blocked, but you are now back. Your brother let us know. Sometimes, like I told you, people get inadvertently blocked, especially when the chat is ferociously moving around. You are welcome. Matthew says, like walking out of jail, a free man, says Matthew. What do I teach? I teach Spanish. Vinci says, Heather is the goat. Yeah, just had to walk her through it and did it all. Heather, you do it all. What? Brian just got out of jail, <laughs> I guess someone said. All right, here we go. Jack spot number 26. Looks like Maddox is having an issue there. Um, did you... I don't know, maybe he fainted on his computer and it's just randomly typing in a bunch of letters. So we'll have to take care of that. Maddox, I hope you get fixed up and uh, or your keyboard gets unstuck there. Let's see what else we can find. And now it looks like Dean's having the same problem, man. My avatar is the Kentucky Wildcats. I did not know that. I don't know much about other sports. Just baseball. We're on box number 26. I believe the Bregman hit was the 25, 25th box hit. There is Mike Trout, 2030. So we've still only pulled four autographs out of, what, 20? This is our 26th box. Jack's been pretty lucky recently, though. Let's see if he can get back to some luck and find an auto. Next middle stack here for Jack. Jason got a Rainbow Robert today. That's a pretty good hit. Congratulations. Wes Chester says, what microphone are you using? Sounds better than the ESPN announcers. I'm just using my iPhone. That's all I have. I have an I iPhone on a tripod. And that's it. Pretty simple. I'm not much of a tech guy, so... Uh, Shmurda says, after I watched your big league break, I went out and bought a big league box and pulled the Jordan Auto. How about that? Congratulations. And Art says, I went out to my garage after watching the 2011 update break and found two Trout rookie cards. That's awesome. And Luis, good afternoon to you as well. I wonder how many people have Trout rookie cards in a box somewhere and they don't realize what that card's worth. A raw Mike Trout in good condition is a, like a thousand dollar card right now, which is absolutely nuts. There's Lou Brock short print for Jack. Congratulations on that. Nice looking card there. Lou Brock looks like that picture was taken in the early 70s of Sweet Lou. Uh, Daddy Dar says, I shudder to think of how many I got rid of back then. Oh, uh, that's rough. Yeah, if you were flipping cards and selling cards back then. We have Shohei Otani. Someone just said a raw trot will make you sick. That's funny play on words right there. No McCutcheon yet. We did pull him, though, once. 
in jumbo. There's Austin Romine. Check out the back. 139. And looking for the hit for Jack. It's probably going to be in this last stack here. Stack number three. And Jack's also got that silver pack. Those silver packs have to yield an autograph at some point. I can't believe we've opened 25 of those without a single autograph. I remember that I opened a bunch of those on the channel before. I did 100 of them. I pulled about five autographs. So I was thinking about one in 20. Then last night, it, there was like one in every eight. A free link for Mr. Brian being in jail. So there's a link to Brian's channel if you'd like to check him out. And there he is. Brian Smith says, I thought I was ignored for the last two weeks. Until my bro told me he couldn't see my post. Brian, thank you very much. Sorry about that. Sometimes that happens every now and then. Uh, people do inadvertently get placed into um, jail, I guess, or they get banned from the channel when we're really the moderators are trying to get somebody else and they just accidentally click on your name. And when you click on someone's name, it brings up a menu that says hide user on the chat, and they probably just clicked on a name, thought they were getting a name, and they actually got you by accident. So, Brian, welcome back. Sorry about that. I hope you guys will check out Brian's channel. And the Grim Ripper says, a guy I know when he was young hated Mickey Mantle, so he would put all his mantles from packs into his bike spokes for noisemakers. Yikes. Oh, that hurts. The Mickey Mantle card. 1952 tops. Imagine putting that in your bike spokes, and then after they don't make the uh, flapping noise anymore, you just throw them away. There's Will Clark. That's the relic out of 199. We're four for 26 for autographs. And we have Mike Fultonavich as the last one there. So, Jack, thank you very much. Get your cards all taken care of. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh, Heather needs team bags. Well, the Luis Robert, very nice Luis Robert. Uh, they are on the, the hutch that my dad uh, gave me in the back left corner of the, that hutch on top of them, like behind the wax boxes and the um, bubble mailers, the hutch in the, in the shipping room. We're all out of team bags. I just ordered, um, I think it was, what was it, like, I don't know, 12,000 more team bags. I, I put in a big order for team bags. We're getting low on them for sure. Next up, Andrew in spot number 27. Let's see what we can find for you. Best of luck, Andrew. And looks like I see 28 sticking to it. That's so, Andrew, you've actually got the next two boxes. Westchester Build said it's his first break. Best of luck, man. The Robert is a $16 car. That's not too bad. Here we go. Andrew B. You bought two. Let's see what we can find for you. Brian says, I bought one jumbo box of this questionable series. We got an SSP of Jackie Robinson. After pulling that, I think I'm done with this until the price drops really low if it does. I'll tell you what, Brian, if the Robert loses value, which I feel like, I mean, I love Robert. I think he's the arguably the top rookie. I mean, I might put him at number one, slightly ahead of Jordan Alvarez, just because of all the hype about, um, in terms of value. I don't know if he's going to be a better player than Jordan or not. Maybe he will be. They're pretty much neck and neck for me right now. Um, but if that Robert starts to lose value, then... This whole release is just going to become come crashing down in terms of how much it costs per box. There's a nice one. Josh Reddick. That one's out of 50. 50 of 50. So yeah, the rookies in this, Brian, I agree. The rookies are really underwhelming in this. They put all the good rookies in Series 1. They didn't save anybody for Series 2. Uh, some really nice, nice rookies. That's not a number, Nolan Ryan, by the way. All in Series 1. Jamie says, I got a 2018 Topps factory set. Best $60 I ever spent. Speaking of the factory set, 
If you're into that kind of thing, the factory set for 2020 will be released on July 1st. So you'll likely see that start to pop up at your targets. I still see um, Harrison Bader's significant stats. I still see 2019 sets on the shelves at my target. And I always think, should I buy that? Um, I might start, I don't know. Maybe I'll buy one because there's a lot of nice rookies in that series too. We'll see. If I had a Target gift card or something, I'd probably use it on that. All right, Andrew, let's see what we can find for you in spot number 27. Maybe you'll get lucky and find an autograph. It's literally only found four autographs all night long. The best one being a Clayton Kershaw out of five, so at least our best hit was a good one. Before that, it was a Tommy Edmond out of 50 autograph, which is about a $125 card. Mike Trout Auto in spot 27. That would be nice. We're on spot 27 right now. Go through and see what we have coming up. There we go. Willie McCovey short print. We saw this one coming out of the jumbo break. Hall of Famer Willie McCovey. That is a nice one. Brian says the dang pandemic made this set all watered down. If the season would be uh, normal, it might be a different story. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, guys that usually wouldn't have uh, cards in this set. Guys like Stephen Brault and Jed Lowry with his seven at bats and. A lot of te like Jose Ozuna is kind of a backup. He I couldn't really see in, see him getting a card at all with his 200 summit bats last year. But I don't know. Jeremy Frizzle says, "Can I still get a box?" The uh, the last payment went through, didn't it? It says it did. Jeremy, thank you very much. Uh, unfortunately, we're sold out right now of 2020. Uh, hobby boxes for tonight. I'll tell you what, maybe Sunday night I'll open up a few more spots if you didn't get into this break. I do have another case of these. Um, I've got, actually got, I think I got two more cases coming. I'm probably going to use some of them for Patreon packages. I'm probably going to give you some Series 2 packs in your July. Um, in your July Patreon packages, you're likely going to see some Big League 2020 in there. Give yourself a shot at an auto. And uh, you'll see a 2020 Series 2 pack in there as well. Give, a shot, give yourself a shot at a Robert. As I do have a few, I have a bunch of cases of Big League, actually. I went out and bought some more. Yeah, Jeremy, no problem. I just... Um, I don't want to be here till super late. So I don't want to add on any more extra boxes tonight. We're on spot number 27 right now looking for the hit. Jamie says, I got 2018 Series 2 blasters. That's a pretty good find right there. Uh, Brian says, uh, sorry for being a chatterbox, but I've been silenced for so long. Still watch you if you're opening a box of Tops Kids. We actually did open that on Patreon about three or four weeks ago. Uh, Yehuda says, which available patron tier has a good chance of returning value focused on new packs, not wax? Well, um, let me think about that. The, uh, the $26 tier, you get four new packs and four old packs. The $15 tier, you get, I think it's three or, is it, it's three new packs. Shipping on that, it's like four or $5, so that's why, um, it's 15 Let's see what else we have. Daddy Daughter says, I've never been unhappy with the $50 tier, and thank you for your support, Daddy Daughter. There's Joshua F. with a $2 donation. Thank you very much, Joshua. I really appreciate your support, and I hope you guys will check his channel out. Joshua says, hope the email I sent today makes sure you have my correct address. Itching to redeem the Beau Bichette Finest Refractors card. It saw it sold for $11.50. Holy cow, Joshua Finley. Keep up the good work, Jabs and Heather. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, Joshua Finley, you'll have to check that out. I'll check it and make sure that uh, everything checks out, like that your email address that, that you're telling me, uh, what your shipping address is, matches to your PayPal email address because I've had people do that before. Be like, hey, I got a shipping change. Can you please send uh, Andrew B's cards, for example, to this address, and that's a different email address, and it's obviously a, like a phishing email trying to steal someone's card, so I always make sure of that now. But I'll check into that, Josh. That's a huge, huge hit. 
Uh, Big E361 says, still can't believe that the, you pulled the 2011 trout the other day. Congrats on 65,000 subscribers. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers, and all I need is 32 more. Good luck to all. Big E, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Big E's channel. Daddy Dollar just dropped his link right there. We've got 639 folks in here right now. If 32 of you would help him out, uh, please check him out and uh, do so. And give him a subscriber. There's Luis Roberts. So you got two, Andrew. That's pretty nice. Two Luis Roberts. And you also got the 85. So you actually have three Roberts. How about a Pete Alonso auto? Gold out of 50. Another big hit right there. Joining the Clayton Kershaw auto that we had earlier. Pete Alonso, the polar bear. 49 of 50. Congratulations on that one. Value on this one, I'm going to guess... 150. What do you think, Heather? 150 bucks is what I'm throwing out there right now. For those of you that are quick with your fingers on eBay, let me know how close I am. Shy City says 150. I might actually be right on on that. Jeremy says 176 dollars. Pete Alonso out of 50. Bob says, "Gee whiz, I can't believe it." So you have about 150 to 175 dollar card right there. Congratulations on that, Heather. Could we have a top letter for this one? Pete Alonso, bearded collector, loves that card. And Andrew, I think Andrew said this was his first ever break. And how about pulling a Pete Alonso? Congratulations on that. 130 says the highness. That's a good box. Pete Alonso out of 50 and three Robert cards. And now the autograph counter moves up to five out of 27 and there's bearded card collector's channel if you'd like to check his channel out guys thank you very much bearded collector for the super sticker very very nice so andrew nice box three roberts and 150 dollars pete alonso mario we've not got a lot of autos we only got five there's your silver pack andrew big hit right there congratulations on that and now we're moving on to box number 20. Andrew's gone for it again. It's going to be tough to top that box off of what we've seen so far. Not a lot of autos, but we'll see. Here's your next box down off the stack. Box number 28 for Andrew B. There's the silver pack. Still have yet to find a single autograph card out of the silver packs tonight, which is pretty darn Amazing. All right, here we go. Baseball card extravaganza says, I'm not opening Series 2 until we are 30 games into the season. Someone might outdo Luis Robert. Laugh out loud. First video coming up soon. Baseball card extravaganza is still looking for some, maybe holding off and uh, getting some, getting a discount on this. You might see that. I do think these boxes may fall if Robert struggles. And nobody else steps up. There's his link right there. Baseball card extravaganza. Yehuda, the $15 tier is all sold out, unfortunately. So that'll open up once those members decide to drop out of that. But not many people do since that's such a pretty good value for, you know, $15, three new wax packs, $5 shipping on that. There's uh, 1300 Johan Camargo. What else do we have coming up? We've got a Rymel Tapia making a play. Chem Geek says the checklist for this just isn't that impressive. There's Warriors of the Diamonds insert card. Eddie Matthews. I agree. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say that the, the rookies are great. Like I said before, you add up all the rookies in this set, put them all in a big lot. There might be 30 rookies in the set or whatever. You could put them on a lot and they wouldn't equal... The it, probably not even half of what the Luis Robert is selling for right now. The Robert's gone for fifteen to twenty dollars. You wouldn't get ten dollars for all those rookies for sure. Um, there's Jordan Alvarez. Metal says I would not want to complete this set. I wouldn't mind completing it just because completing sets are fun. But I wouldn't be. I wouldn't invest in this. Like I wouldn't go out and buy cases upon cases of Series Two. And just put them out in my garage and hope they go up in a few years. I think some people have done that with Series 1 and probably put a box or two aside with all the great rookies in there. I definitely would 
want to complete this. That's one of the reasons I bought that hobby box for the preview videos because I wanted to get a nice chunk of the base. And Jeremy Fritzel says, I got Alonso auto the other night. You pulled for me and a Flaherty and clearly authentic. I remember that, man. I was thinking, oh man, is Jeremy going to pay? If he doesn't pay, I'm going to be stuck with this Alonso. <sighs> but like you said, I think it came through. I don't know why your payment said pending, but PayPal sent me a, a message to say, make sure you don't send his stuff until it clears. There's Robert. So I'll check that out. I think I put a little asterisk on your card. So I will double check that once. It comes time to ship the J shelf. Uh, started working our way through, getting stuff shipped. We were working on all the A shelf today. Got that all cleared off. There's Mike Schmidt. I'm going to do a whole bunch of it tomorrow and try to work through a majority of the 3 and $9 tiers because those folks don't get a monthly package. So I usually after I get most of the stuff sent out for the month, I go and do the $3 tiers. There's a Aaron Judge 2030 card. Let's see what I, yeah, ATX. I was I was just kind of joking around about that. Yeah, stuck with an Alonzo Auto. It's pr a pretty darn good card to get stuck with if a payment doesn't go through. There's Yvonne Nova gold card out of three fifty five. Kemi says, "What's the craziest pull anyone's got out of a Patreon pack?" I've heard stories of like Ronald Acuna Jr. autos coming out before. It's always nice when they stop in and say that they pulled something like that. Let's see if we can find for Andrew in his second pack here, or second box. Still looking for the hit here. For Andrew B in spot number 28. Crazy pulls tonight, asked Derek. Um, 7.84. Well, we pulled a... Just pulled a Pete Alonso autograph out of 50 and pulled a Clayton Kershaw out of 5 autograph. And Keith says that I missed a super chat. Let me scroll on back up here at the end of this stack. Sorry about that. Heather, did I miss a super chat? Heather was busy sleeping cards. She missed it as well. There is Mookie Betts. And Heather says that she thinks I got it from Jeremy. I got Jeremy's. And Baseball Card Extravaganza I got as well. I hope you guys will check out Baseball Card Extravaganza and Jeremy. Um, thank you guys for the support. All right. So let's see what we've got coming up out of the rest of Andrew's stack. Then we got the silver pack. And I'm feeling an autograph coming up soon out of that silver pack. This is the 28th one that we've opened without an autograph. That's pretty crazy. Jorge Soler, gold out of 50. 44.50 game used. That's your home run king from the AL. So, and you didn't get an autograph. We are 5 out of 28 right now for autos. Pete Alonso is number 5. And you're going to have a blue Masahiro Tanaka out of 150. 39 of 150 for Andrew. So, Andrew, congratulations on your Robert hit. At least Robert, best card value-wise of the lot in that box. Shy City says all these boxes should come with autos. I agree 1,000%. I think, uh, yeah, people. some people like relics. Why not just make it one auto, one relic? I mean, half the time you can make... How about you make the... Uh, the relic a manufactured one. All right, so here we go. Donald S, spot number 29. Best of luck to you, Donald. Here's your silver pack. ATX says, I've been MIA for a couple months. I hope this isn't offensive, but who is Heather? Heather is my lovely assistant and uh, has been helping me with these breaks now for a little while and really has helped me get everything organized. I'm going to take a quick water break here. I don't think I've drunk, I don't think I've drank any water at all.
I've got a bottle of water. I think this one's left over from the last break. Surprisingly cold though for being in here without refrigeration. Donald, you're up now. Best of luck to you, Donald. Spot number 29. Let's see what we can find for you. Jeremy said they had a bunch of 2017, 2018 fat packs on clearance at Target. I bought about 15 in 2017, 12, 18. Got a lot of good cards. That is a nice find. I never see any clearance at my targets at all. It's like almost like it doesn't exist. I always see a lot of clearance at Walmart, but usually it's just the sticker boxes in there. All right, here we go, Donald. Let's see what we can find for you. There we go, another autograph. It's a Nico Horner out of 25. So this is our sixth autograph. We are, uh, I guess, heating up a little bit right now. Nico Horner, and I'm not sure what jersey that is, a red jersey with a gray. Um, I don't know if the... Cubs wore any jersey that looked like that. Maybe sometimes they do those special, like, throwback nights. Um, Nico Horner, that might be a minor league jersey. I don't know. But Donald with a nice hit right there. Congratulations. Donald's been having some really nice beginner's luck. Just started getting into the breaks about a little under a month ago, and he's had luck in pretty much every round so far. Keep it up, Donald. Very, very nice. There's Jeff Bagwell, short print as well. You got a bagpipe short print, so Donald keep the hits coming there. And let's see what else he can find. Maybe he will find uh, a Robert Parallel. We haven't found any Luis Robert Parallel cards yet. No golds. No um, numbered Roberts at all. There's a Judge 2030 card. Uh, e and C card says, I'll buy that card from whoever got it. Well... I'll tell you what, Donald's the owner right there. So if Donald's in the chat and you guys want to link up and discuss it, you can do so. There's a Tanner Roark, 1624. Art Barrios is here. Says, good evening, buddy. My grandson Isaiah asked me to tell you and Heather, you guys rock hands down, buddy. Uh, Art, thank you very much, man. Thanks for the kind words. And Isaiah, thanks for watching. I appreciate the kind words. And Brent's Cards and Coins says, hi, Eric. Are these showing up at Target yet? I did see... Um, my buddy Dante told me that they were at Target, so I went out there the next morning, and they there was only single retail packs with 16 cards in them left. Nothing else. So I'm going to have to wait a week or two until that Target restocks. Sometimes it's, you know, it's a little unpredictable, but I'll get out there and hopefully find some for a retail review of this product. Right, let's see what we can find for Donald Spot 29. All right, so we start things off. You already got your hit, so we're just looking for anything right now. Card Collector says, can I donate $100? If, uh, I mean, if you want to donate it, you can, as long as you are 18 or older. And uh, it's, you know, it works with your budget and everything. There's Hank Aaron. That one's numbered out of 299 Love that one a lot. I don't know about that, about A with 5,000 subs. I do remember seeing them, but I don't remember ever kicking them out. Maybe they got inadvertently banned also. There is a Javi Baez card right there. And Keone Kella is the last one. Check out this stack right now, looking for Robert cards. Who got the Nico? It's Donald S. Donald, if you're in here. You may have some people that want to buy that Horner out of 25. All right, let's check out Donald's. What? Wait a minute. I almost missed this other stack here. I was going to say, let's check out Donald's silver pack. But you got this other stack right here. I almost missed it because just the way my camera was set up is blocking my view of it. Shy City says, I need some coffee. Nah, I'll just uh, probably have a sip of Diet Coke later. Let me get all these wrappers out of the way. So here we go. Here's your last stack, Donald. Now officially time to go through these and see what we can find for you. 
see if there's Robert in here anywhere. You already got one Luis Robert, but some of these boxes might have a second one. We've seen it a few times that two Robert cards have popped up. There's Karinchak gold. That's that's a nice one. Not a lot of value to his cards, but his strikeout numbers are crazy. There is a Phil Necro. Christian Yelich, Topps 2030 card is a nice one. And there's another gold card there, Carlos Carrasco. Now it's time for your silver pack after we get through these ones for you real quickly. Donald, let's see what we get. Brian, can't wait to see the flea market video. Yeah, that's going to be a fun one. It was a good one for sure. Aloy Jimenez, Hunter Harvey, Brandon Lau, and Clemente. I can't believe we haven't pulled a single autograph in 29 of those. What's going on here, Heather? 29 of these and not a single auto from any silver pack at all. It's craziness. Spot number 30 is for Zach. Let's see what we can find for Zach. Rob's card shop just bought six Bowman Mega Boxes for two ten. Pretty good deal right there, I would say. Those have definitely also come down in price. They at first when I started looking, about a I don't know, right around release day they're about a hundred, and then they slowly dropped down. They're about when I got them they're like sixty dollars a piece. Toby says, "Where's Heather? Did she leave?" I'm looking at her right now. She is here. Who would I rather have if I start a baseball team? Tim Anderson or Javi Baez? I'm going to go with Javi Baez, I think. Tim Anderson won the batting title last year, but uh, I'm going to go with Baez. Brandon says Javi, not even close. Yeah, Javi's, I think he's done it a little longer than Tim Anderson. There's the next hit, Elvis Andrews. Elvis Andrews for Zach. Game used jersey, so we are at 6 of 30. Six autographs and 30 boxes, that's a 1 out of 5. So we're hitting 200 now, back up to 200. We have Daryl Strawberry short print. So the straw, very, very nice. Daryl Strawberry, our first time seeing that short print. See what else we can find in here. Looking for there'll probably be one Luis Robert in here at some point. There's an Acuna. Egg moderator says, I've uh, been trying to chat the whole night. I don't know exactly why you were banned, but um, you must have said something or accidentally been inadvertently banned. We had that happen to Brian as well. Justin said we missed the autograph in spot number 28, but I don't know. It's, you were the only person to think that, so I don't think so. And I believe it was a relic that came out of spot 28. Maybe it was one of like a Topps Now card or something that had an autograph on there, and you thought that maybe that was an autograph. Egg Moderator is probably the um, probably an inadvertent ban by a moderator is what I'm guessing. Let's see what we can find right now. There is Yvonne Nova. Have I pulled the McCutcheon short print? Yep, I did in Jumbo, but not in Hobby. We pulled that Friday night out of the Jumbo break. I can't remember who got it, though, but it, I remember <laughs> thinking the card was crazy. And someone said that ESPN did an article about that being like the best card of all time. There's Cattell Marte. Those aren't numbered. Brian says, do you think there's an unusual amount of SPs in here? It seems like there may be more than usual. Like they upped it a little bit. There's Robert. We'll get that one top loaded for you. When does the top set come out? The factory set is due out on July 1st. So next Wednesday, you'll start to see it pop up at your target. Um... I forget how much those are. I think they're usually like $59.99 or something like that. Shep, thank you very much. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Yeah, I can check it out. 
Mill 2K says 15 years ago I had six card shops within two miles. Now there's zero. Kind of sucks. That definitely does suck. Robert, thanks for joining tonight. That's pretty much how it was everywhere. Had card stores, a couple in every town, and now uh, they're all gone, at least uh, most of them. All right, so Zach, here's the rest of your packs. Let's see what we can find for you. Mill says the 90s were the peak of pack openings. Yeah, the 90s. Shogo Akiyama foil card. We'll get that one sleeved up. Chrome black is going to be hot. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll try to get a couple cases of that. We'll see if I'm able to get that or not. I think that comes out sometime at the end of July. Brian's lucky enough to have two within driving range. One's good. The other is worth diddly squat. Yeah, I... Well, come to think of it, I do have a hobby store probably about 10 minutes from... No, not even 10 minutes. Probably like 7 minutes from me. And um, most of the stuff they have is like uh, Pokemon and Magic the Gathering. I mean, they have some baseball cards there, but it's, you know, it's mostly that stuff there. Like, if I wanted to go and buy a pack of cards, I could, but I don't know. I, I usually only go there whenever I need some supplies and I have like a break that night and I'm all out of something. Then I'll go and pick them up there. Okay, let's see what else we have for Zach. I'm really itching to get your silver pack opened up. Shy City says, you should open your own store jabs. I'll make the trip. That'd be pretty fun. Maybe uh, 10, 15, 20 years down the road in retirement if cards were still a hot thing. And it's a, a good, uh, you know, a good venture. We could do it. Junkyard Break says, Those wizard cards in Big League are atrocious. And to laugh, not as bad as deep dive cards in 2020 score football. Junkyard Breaks, the wizard cards. Yeah, those are kind of cool. Uh, I didn't hate them. I really like Big League. All, all in all, I'd, I'd give Big League like an A for, you know, keeping in mind of, the value and what I was expecting. I was expecting Big League to be crap. And I was like, oh, great. Here I go. I'm going to be opening like 40 boxes of Big League. How am I going to get through this with only finding like... I was expecting to find like three or four autographs. And then it just utterly shocked me with auto after auto after auto. Courtney's up next. Best of luck to you, Courtney. Box number 31. And then after this box, this is the last one that was paid prior to the break. There was a... a bunch of invoices out there waiting to be paid so i'm going to see if any of those folks paid and we'll continue on with the uh, rest of the boxes courtney let's see what we can find for you in spot number 31 25 years from now will the trout rookie be worth as much as the mantle i don't know we'll uh see Adam thinks that Phil got a juiced case. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I've had cases before. I had a case of uh, Archives Retired Player that I think I hit seven one of one out of. You guys might remember that one. I think we had a, a case who had seven one of ones for Retired Player a couple years ago. It's pretty crazy. Sometimes, um, I don't know, Tops just has a hot case. All right, Courtney, here we go. Spot number 31 for you. Let's see if you can find an autograph. Right now we have six autos in 30 boxes. There's a gold card right there. Andrew Knapp. Uh, Brian Smith bought two boxes of Big League and hit one Chapman Auto, which isn't too bad. Yeah, for $30 to $40 box, it's a great, great pull. Got a black border Jim Palmer right there. I picked up a few of Palmer's cards at the card store. I'll have to show you everything I picked up there once I do that video. What else do we got coming up? There's a guys like Jacob Stallings getting a card in there, kind of like a backup catcher, 191 at bats. Al Kanan says, five away from 500. Thanks for all your help, Eric. I opened two jumbos and had extra autos in the silver packs. Any silver packs in hobby boxes? Yeah, man. There's one silver pack in every single hobby box. The jumbos have two silver packs. 
Uh, unfortunately, I haven't found a single auto in any of these hobby silver packs. I found a bunch of autos, well, not a bunch, but one in every eight silver packs in jumbos had an autograph. Right now, I've opened 30 of them and haven't found a single one from the hobby. So I don't know if that, I don't know. We'll see if we find a single auto. So Elkanon, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out his channel. Personally, I prefer the Jumbos after opening three cases of each. I think the Jumbos are the runaway winner of Series 2 products. Here's Courtney's middle box. Let's see what we can find for you. Jeremy says you can get four 2020 Bowman Megas for 131. That's pretty good. And El Canon just hit 500. So 600 folks in here right now, and you guys just hooked him up. Thanks, man. Thanks for your support, El Canon, and thank you guys for helping him get to 500. Keep on grinding, El Canon. You'll be at 1,000, I bet, a month from now. <laughs> There's Luis Robert. We'll get that one top loaded up. Very nice. Brian says, I figured they would have made a tin box for Series 2 with the Chrome Decade's best cards. Instead of putting them in jumbo boxes. That's right. I don't know what the plan is with the tins. Has anybody heard if Topps is planning on putting tins out? There's the big unit, Randy Johnson batting. Short print. Pulled that one last night as well. Or not last night, but Friday night. I would like to see the tins come back with different players on there. That would be cool. Uh, we did a nice 100 tin break or so. 150 tin break. And um, we'll get this Arenado sleeved up. I think last time the tins came out, it was a couple weeks after the main release. So you may have to wait a couple weeks and let them get that all packaged up and everything. TJ Zook. Chem Geek says they're better than boxes because you have higher hit rates. Yeah, they are cheap. There's are, what are they, a $15.99 a tin or something like that? What are just the tins worth, asked Mike. Well, the empty tins are usually worth a couple bucks a piece. Not a lot. I saw them at the card store going for about a dollar a piece. I think it was a dollar. Empty tins. Well, Courtney, let's see what your hit is going to be right now. It should be coming out of this last stack. Courtney in spot number 31. Let's go through the beginning. How long do you think this stream will be? Well, I'll let you know in a second how many more boxes that we have. There's a gold Yankees team card. Uh, Blood Ops Captain says, still live. How many did you open so far? This is the 31st box that we're on. And we've only pulled six autographs. Some of them were pretty good, though. Pete Alonso out of 50 autograph. And Clayton Kershaw out of five autograph were the best hits. There's a Robert Duggar gold card, 768. All right, the hit should be coming up soon. Let's see, you've got a Belly Bombs Tops 2030 card. Uh, Adam says, you should do the extremely high-end stuff once a week. You never seem to have a shortage of buyer. What would we call that, Heather? High-end what? I like alliteration. There's no day of the week that starts with H or E. But that that is a good idea. Do you like a box of, like, I don't know. Uh, how about this one? Nick Senzel autograph. A relic auto out of 50. Another auto. It's seven autos. Very, very nice. Nick Senzel. So Courtney with the nice hit. So case three has been the best case so far by far. In terms of the autographs, it's produced, oh, what, three autos. The other two cases only had two each, and we're only halfway through that case. Let's check out the silver pack for Courtney. And your silver pack has the typical silver pack cards in there without an autograph. So, Courtney, thank you very much. Going to... See now what the heck is going on with 32, the rest of this case. We did have some folks not pay their invoices, so I'm going to go through and see who gets these. Heather, do we have that red marker anywhere so I can add these names? All right, so 
We got about oh, five boxes left. High end Wednesday clicks. High end Wednesday, maybe. Usually Wednesdays are our new release case days, though. All right, so box number 32. I'll tell you who has them. Courtney, I guess, was the last person to pay in there. There will be some boxes. I do see some new payments that came through within the last couple hours since we have been live. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out David Martin. Your invoice was not paid. It has been canceled. Jeremy Hargrove, your invoice was not paid. I'm canceling it. Uh, Kerry Davis, your invoice was not paid. I am canceling it. And Wayne H., your invoice was not paid. I am canceling it. So um, let's see who did paid pay after. Uh, let's see here. John is going to get box number 32. John has 32. Box number 33 is for Bill Sites. There's Bill in 33 scrolling ahead. Jeremy, I do see you now. So I guess Jeremy Hargrove has 34. Looks like you didn't pay the invoice, but just sent it straight uh, directly to me. Ed has the next one. Actually, the next two. 35 and 36. And Christopher Clements has 37, the last one of the day. And then that's it. Christopher Clements. So we've got about uh, six more boxes to go. And then that's, that is that. John's up first. Who is Heather? Heather is sitting right next to me. And she is the most wonderful assistant that you could ever imagine. Here we go. Whoa, Chip won a Trout Rookie for $7.92. That's a good, good price there. $32 for John. Let's see what we can find for you. These will be the last spots. Ryan says Speedway Gas has the best coffee, Heather. Have you ever tried Speedway? She has not. Sean said I missed a super chat. Thanks for looking out, Sean. Uh, Jeremy says 2020 Inception Hobby Box for 129 Is that good? I'll tell you what. Inception really went high. I, I, I can't remember what I charged for it, but I don't even know if it was double digits back when I was doing it. So I don't really know. I haven't looked at Inception since, like, March. I would suggest going on eBay recently sold and seeing what they have been going for. And, um, you know, just looking there and, and getting an idea or not. I wish I could answer your question, but I would say go to eBay, filter it out, recently sold, and see what they go for. All right, so 32 is for John. Thank you very much, Jeremy, though, for the Super Chat. I really appreciate that. Let's see what we've got. We have a Carlos Correa fake manufactured patch leading things off. That doesn't count as your hit. I got terrified when I bought my own box for the preview video. I got one of those, and I thought that that was going to count as my hit because I feel like other years that that actually did count as the hit. I was super mad and afraid, but luckily they gave me a sunny gray game use jersey. I mean, at least it was something, right? There's Ozzy Albee short print. And Cruz, Nelly Cruz for John. Let's work our way through your next one. There's Aaron Judge, 2030. How much do you think a Euler rookie card SP? That I, I don't know, man. You have to look at eBay recently sold. I wish I knew every single card price, but I I don't. You're better off just going straight to the market. You've got a whole like real-time price guide out there to see what things are actually going for in real time. It tells you the date they sold, how much they sold for. Joseph, I do like the jumbo boxes a lot more than hobby boxes. That's just a personal preference though. Some people like the hobby boxes more. All right, John, here's your middle stack.
Dylan says, you switched over to the $100 Patreon on Friday. Did you send my package out or are you waiting till July? Well, Dylan, you tell me, man. Would you rather have me get it out there? I could probably get it out tomorrow or Tuesday. Or would you rather have me send it all together in July? I'll probably end up sending it sometime around the middle of July, Mookie Betts. I'm trying to work on getting stuff sent out earlier and earlier in the month so we can free up time near the end of the month. We started getting some of the stuff sent out. I think we started like June 12th this month. Uh, you let me know, man. And um, if you want it, want it right away, I will get it out there to you tomorrow or um, tomorrow Tuesday. There is Javi Baez. Lee says, my son and I just wanted to stop by and say hi. I want to personally thank you for getting us back into the hobby. We love what you do, and thank you for bringing my family closer. Lee, thank you very much for the kind words. That's awesome that you guys are back in the hobby, and even better that your family has kind of found a common bond with uh, the hobby here. So thank you very much for your support. There's Luis Robert. We'll get that one top loaded up for you, John. If we work our way through to see what your hit is, whatever's easiest. I got a Jumbo Box Series 2 coming in the mail, so you can probably hold me over until you send them both together. That sounds good. What's next week looking like for breaks, asked Grant. Looks like it's going to be Prism Quick Pitch on Wednesday. And then maybe, I don't know, we might do some more jumbos next Sunday. Maybe a big league slash top series two mixer on Sunday. I got to see if anything else is coming out. Joe says, I fight addiction and you have no idea how much you've helped me. Joe, that means a lot. Thank you very much for being here. And uh, I'm glad that you are facing your problems and, and um, that these are helping you get through them. And Jeff says, is Heather a teacher just like you? Heather is a teacher, and she is the teacher of the year every year. And I'm really lucky to have her. How about this one? Advert Alzole on card auto. So the autos from this case are really ticking up. That's our eighth auto right now. Eighth autograph. So congratulations, John. Advert Alzole, rookie auto. Cal Tuck's still a decent pro prospect. There's Last stack for John. It's okay. Christian Yelich. Aiden just had the greatest idea that I think I've ever seen. McDonald's should put cards in Happy Meal boxes instead of toys. I love that idea. Imagine getting like a, a special exclusive pack of cards. You know how they do toys for boy and toys for girl and Happy Meals? That's a great idea. I love it. Tops, get on that. Partner up with McDonald's. There is Dom Nunez out of 25. That's an awesome idea. How t I would be ordering Happy Meals. <laughs> I would... I'd probably go through the drive through and order four Happy Meals at a time. Be like, yeah, I do have four kids at home. I love it. John, here we go. Spot number 32. Uh, Mill says, what if I don't like baseball? Why do I want cards in my meal? Well, that's a good point. That's, you know, maybe we'll get some new people into the hobby that way. I mean, they're giving away all kinds of stuff. Um, most of the time, whenever I get my kids a meal like that, the toy just gets thrown away or they don't play with it ever. Like, I don't think it lasts more than like five minutes and then it just ends up being trash basically, right? The, the kids' meals. So baseball cards would be better. And they'd have an awful lot of adults like us picking up kids' meals. Be like, hey, uh, Looks like, what are you now, kid? You're about six months old. Yeah, I think it's about time you have your first Happy Meal. And just start to go there every every night for your newborn. And then you take the cards. Joe with a $2 Super Chat. Thank you very much. And Remington, hello to you. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to give me any money, uh, Remington. I'm just glad you're here. Bill, let's see what we can find now. One of one auto McDonald's meal. That would be pretty cool. Tim Hortons in Canada has hockey cards every year, says Retro. I didn't know that. Let's see if we can find for Bill in 33. I know Bill was in here earlier. Jackson, best card of the night. Clayton Kershaw out of five autograph. 
After this, there's only four boxes left, and then that's it. ATX says, any tips to get my girlfriend to be my lovely assistant, Heather? Any tips, Heather, for ATX's girlfriend? She just shook her head no. She's busy sleeving. Probably too focused on making sure uh, all the uh, cards are sleeved up properly and everything. Heather's a meticulous worker. And... Uh, you might be the hardest worker I've ever met. You know that? She's a very, very hard worker. There is a Carlton Fisk. And one nice thing about Heather is she takes pride in her work, too. Let's see what else we have. Um, we got Mookie Betts for Bill. Thank you, Joe. Me too, man. There is Shohei Otani. Uh, Brian says, hey, Jebs, do you have the Kershaw Rookie Card 2008 update? How much did you pay for it? I think that I have one somewhere in my collection, and I think I paid 30 bucks for it. I feel like I got that maybe like three or four years ago when I was starting to pick up some rookie cards that I missed out on from the dark ages of my collecting. Um, Mill 2 cases. I say this, since so many people keep asking about her, how about a, a 100K subs? We have a Heather reveal for the fanboys. Heather? Heather shook her head no. Elkanon says, <coughs> Addiction is real and gnarly. I was off in rehab about a month ago. Sobriety never felt so good, and this community is awesome for accepting me back. Stay strong, John. And now there is support 56 days. Elkanon, congratulations on conquering those demons. That's awesome. Uh, like someone said earlier in the chat, one day at a time, man, Elkanon. Um, for those of you that, I guess, Joe, if you'd like someone to talk to, Elkanon has been through it. And um, E and C says, Elkanon is the best. Thanks for your support, man. I hope you guys will check out his channel. He just passed 500 subscribers. Make sure you check him out. Bill, here we go. Spot number 33. Card Collector 35. How's it going? And Everything Baseball says, you see something in the first pack. Let's see exactly what that something may be. Um, maybe a Bryce Harper 2030 card is what you saw. I feel like the hits most of the time have come out of the third stack in a majority of these boxes. There's Barry Larkin. That is a regular card. Mm, what else do we have coming up? There's Will Clark. We've got a Mike Trout Tops 2030 card. So we'll put that in the sleeve pile for Bill. Uh, Brian says, my girlfriend doesn't understand collecting either. She said it's childish because I started when I was six years old. Well, um, it's a major industry now, and it's, you know, maybe if she watches enough of these videos, she'll start to understand. I don't know. I guess the best way to get her to understand is try to get her to collect with you. The Grim Ripper says, I'm sitting at 89 subscribers and I'm almost at 100. Thanks, all. So let's see if we can get the Grim Ripper to 100 right now. He needs 11 subscribers. You guys will check out the link here that Heather and Daddy Daughter will drop in the chat. See who can be his 100th. There's the link right there. Daddy Daughter Card Breaks has it for you. Just click on that link. It'll take you over there and hit that subscribe button. See if you can get him to 100 and... Let me know when you hit it so we can congratulate him. Uh, Scott S. says, Hey, Jabs, I've been watching for a couple months now. Thanks for the informative videos. Been thinking about joining your Patreon. Do you, you do a great job, and I hope to meet you at the Chicago National in 2021. Scott, thank you very much for your support. I sure hope that we're back to uh, going with card shows again. I hope they don't cancel the National in Atlantic City this December, but that would be 
Uh, awesome for sure. There's the hip, by the way. Mill 2K says, Jabs, any thoughts of making this your primary source of income? Your subs are getting close to you having to make that decision. Mill 2K11, um, I don't know if this could be a primary income or not. Um, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it triple the subs. Maybe I could do it. I, I, I don't know. Um, it's something that I haven't really even considered, like just making as my only source of income. But um, I don't know. We'll see where it goes from here. Maybe in 10, 10 years or whatever, if I'm up there on Dodger Films territory, that could be a possibility. But um, I don't know. That's, uh, that's very, very kind of you to even consider that that could be an option for me. And thank you for your support, Mill2K11. And uh, looks like the Grim Ripper is closing in on 100 subscribers. Needs one more. Let's see what else we have coming up. There he is. Junior Baseball Fanatic was number 100. Congratulations, Grim Ripper. You've just passed the 100 subscriber milestone. Keep on grinding, and uh, congratulations as you move your way up the ladder. Let's see what we can find for Bill now. Yeah, Jacob DeGrom, Canadian Box Breaker, says, I'm at 190. Love the community, and you're the best. If you guys can spare one more subscriber, help out right there. Canadian Box Breaker, maybe hit 200. There's Jalen Davis, purple. That one's out of 75. There's Daddy Daughter with the link for Canadian Box Breaker. Check him out, guys. Look at his channel, see what he does, and uh, give him a subscriber as well. Bill, thank you very much. Only three boxes left after Jeremy's. So we're winding on down here. Best of luck to you, Jeremy. Here's the silver pack. Canadian, you're up over 200 already. You guys were quick with that one. Canadian box breaker with a quick ascent over the next century mark there. 200, very quick. Congratulations, man. Uh, Mil2K says, I say that because another YouTuber I follow went from 2,000 to 100,000 subscribers in a year. It can happen. Just look how things have been going for you. Mill 2K, man. That's a huge jump. 2K to 100K. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's It all depends on sometimes the YouTube algorithm. You got to get them to favor you somehow and push your videos on to non-subscribers. You know, I guess, you know, if you get lucky and it does, it could happen. And you are right. Someone just asked. I'm sorry because I the chat went by pretty pretty quickly there. What would you buy for 30 bucks? How about you go and buy yourself a box of Big League? It's going to be a little more over than 30 Not too much, though. Usually between $30 and $40 per box. Uh, I would buy that. Shy City says, yeah, just keep opening up more 2011 Tops update. Uh, are there any boxes of that left? 20? That's a cool one. One, two, three, four. I'll have to look on eBay and see if there even are any more update boxes left on the... Uh, out there. There's Luis Robert. We'll get that sleeved up. Grim Ripper said, I just passed 100 subscribers. Now it's time to do a giveaway on the next video. And Joe says, keep it up, Mr. Jabs. Joe, thank you very much. And congratulations on crossing over the 100 threshold right there. The Grim Ripper. Good job, man. Keep on working and moving up the ladder. There's a nice Gavin Lux rookie card. Kind of miss seeing Gavin Lux and Yordan Alvarez and Aristides Aquino and Bo Bichette. I miss seeing all those guys. Barely get to see them anymore in Series 2. I always get excited to find those guys in here, but um, they're instead instead of Lux, we get guys like Edwin Rios, whoever the heck that is. And Mike Fultonavich is the last one. A mess of things says, never know what can happen. One short video is responsible for literally half my views and watch time. Yeah, you post one video that takes off. Left Behind Times says, closing on 750. Great stream, Jabs, like always. Left Behind Times, how many more do you guys need? Check out their channel, guys. You guys have been helping these channels grow. Left Behind Times, closing on 750. And Jacob Rip one. There's Daddy Daughter with the Left Behind Times link. Check his channel out. Check out the content. And uh, if it's something you think you may like, make sure you hit that subscribe button over there. And Jacob Rip one says, My turn. 
I need 23 for 125, and we just hit 100 on Friday. So as you guys are looking at other channels, there's another one right there. Jacob ripped one. Help them move on up that chart. Just hit 100, now working towards 125. Got the link right there. Daddy Daughter makes it very easy, Daddy Daughter and Heather, um, to find these channels' links. All you have to do is click on the link and bring up the page. Take a look at it if they're paste posting baseball cards. We may have the Andrew McCutcheon. There it is, the Andrew McCutcheon swag short print card. That is going for two to three hundred dollars on eBay. There it finally is. You've been waiting to see it all night. This is our second time pulling the McCutcheon short print card. And it goes to Jeremy in box number 34. Jeremy, congratulations. Good job paying your late invoice there because now you have the swag card of McCutcheon. Uh, he's got the gold, he's got the chain on and everything. Look at him, Andrew McCutcheon, ready to go right there. Um, I don't know if he's ready to go onto the field or ready to go to the club, but Andrew McCutcheon, nice looking card right there. Best card ever, says the Gaming Library. Very, very nice one. Sheboygan, says Elkanon. Love this one. Andrew McCutcheon. That's an 80s card right there. If I ever saw one, says a mess of things. And Mill 2 k says, this is how Jabs dresses when he hits the flea markets. <laughs> Heather says, that would be so funny. Um, yep, maybe just go and go undercover. So like, oh, that's Jabs. He'll probably buy all my junks, junk wax. I'll just mark them up so I have to go undercover like McCutcheon. Yep, that's not a bad idea. That's pretty funny. Here comes Jabs. Get out all those boxes of 88 Don Russ so you can buy them off of us. There's Detroit Tigers team card. What else do we have coming up? There's Jerkson Profar. There's Brian Smith. Says, got no videos on my YouTube. I buy at least one box a week. Got a huge collection, and I think I will start. Ought to be fun. Brian Smith, that's a great idea, man. I bet you if you start making videos on YouTube, open them up, you will gain a following, as there are lots of, uh, lots of people that like watching box opening videos, and you never know. You, you get a nice big hit in a box, people are going to want to watch that. Like for example, if I if I re went if I went back and made this McCutcheon short print in my thumbnail, people probably would be more up to check this video out. I guess you never know what could happen, so you might as well take the chance, Brian. Thank you very much for the support. Box of sleeves. It is up there. See Ultra Pro. Yeah. Can you reach that? Heather just ran out of sleeves. And I had to point her to the uh, the case of sleeves, penny sleeves. Let's see what we can find next to join the McCutcheon. How about that for the hit? Third one. There's a box of 2011 update on for 4,500. I might pick that up. That's a pretty good deal. I literally somebody turned. I offered like 50 some hundred for a box of hobby, and they turned me down. Um, previously, so I, I might grab that one. A mess of things says, filming a new Which One Wednesday video tonight. Need votes in the recent one. A mess of things, thank you very much. Uh, and Mill 2K says, Jabs, and you can pass on this, but since you're a streamer, have you seen what's going on with Twitch streamers lately? I don't want to get into it on the channel. I don't know anything about Twitch, and um, I, I'm just, you know, I'm not very technological, so I just kind of stay in my zone here on YouTube. I don't try to like venture out into other venues, but um, Heather, what's going on with Twitch streamers? Heather just shrugged her shoulders. I don't know. I'll have to uh, Google that and see what's going on. I'm perfectly content here. Bearded Collector says, love the content working towards 200 subscribers myself. Bearded Collector, thank you very much. As we check out the next hit right there, Gary Sanchez Pinstripe. So check out A Mess of Things, and don't forget to check out Bearded Collector as well. He's trying to get 200 subscribers. Heather, how many subscribers is Bearded Collector at right now? Do you know? Where did Heather and I meet? Well, we went to high school together. What? He's at 141, so help out Bearded Collector. I went to high school together and ran into each other at Chick-fil-A. 
Um, and uh, kind of, I was like, I remember you. And uh, from there, it was just, uh, you know, now here we are. A card collector 35 with a 99 cent super chat. Thank you very much. And Jeremy, congratulations on the short print. Highest card on the market right now. Andrew McCutcheon. <laughs> Eric A says, Jabs, you need to make a video called So You Want to Be a Streamer 001 and go over the basics. That would be a funny one for sure. Um, I don't consider myself to be a professional streamer or anything. I just sit here with my camera on a tripod and open up packs. There's other guys out there that have all kinds of... Oh, it's a hanger box. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 2011 Tops Update, guys. What is it? How many cards in a hanger box? 67 cards in a hanger box for $4,500. That's crazy. That is a terrible deal. Oh, I never know. I guess maybe that's what the market is doing. 2011 Tops update is way off the, uh, way off the, I don't know. It's off the charts. 72 cards for $4,500. Well, in a jumbo, you get 500 cards for about $10,000. So that's a terrible deal. If I was doing a best offer on that one, I would probably offer them maybe $1,300 for that hanger box. They're way, way over where it should be. And here we go. Spot number 35. You also have 36. Let's see what we can find for you. Get these all laid out on the screen. Eric A says this behind the scenes stuff, organization and the shipping and all of that. Evan says, I bet you'd pick up a lot of subs if you did highlight videos of the streams. Yeah, maybe. I was asking Heather. What I was thinking of, Heather, is maybe a Top 10 Tuesday where we take all these streams, like the previous two streams, the live streams, and we rank them like the Top 10 pools and just do like a, I don't know, like a 10-minute video of that, of where like the cards come up. I think that would be pretty cool. Huh? You want me to do behind the scenes? Heather wants a behind the scenes video of me, like screaming and stuff. That would be kind of embarrassing. <laughs> All right. Armando Guzman says, Sup, uh, Heather and Eric, Shy City, MAGA, a mess of things, one and only. Just got in from downtown Savannah. Good luck, all. Armando Guzman, thank you very much for the support. By the way, man, your your most recent breaks are all packaged up and ready to go. So um, with your Aquino autograph in there, everything. So that will be shipped tomorrow. I really appreciate the support, Armando Guzman. Thank you very, very much. Hopefully you're enjoying your time down there and had a great time in Savannah. It's a city. Of, have you ever been to Savannah, Heather? I've been there once, Savannah, Georgia. Uh, Mill 2K says, if you're a speculator of players, move your cards at the highest point. Keep everybody available until they are nearing retirement. Once retired, they can't break records. So Mill 2K with some advice for you collectors out there. And Matthew says, am I going to be opening Topps opening, Big League anytime soon? Well, we just did the whole bunch of Topps Big League. And I think we might go back and do some more because I was pleasantly surprised at it maybe next sunday i'm not exactly sure big league was really good for like a you know under 40 dollar box of cards it was surprising there's harrison bader significant statistics we'll get that one sleeved up there's shogo akiyama it was an autograph bonanza for sure wasn't expecting that at all all right ed you've got Two stacks left, and then you have another box, and then Christopher's got the last one of the night. Bearded Collector says, Big League is fire. Yeah, that was a very, very nice. And Thomas says, Jumbos of 2011 are going for $12,000 now. Can you believe that, Heather? In one week, they were $10,000 last week when we did them. Now they're up to $12,000 because of the cognac trout and the diamond anniversary trout. Unfortunately... We didn't get the uh, the cognac or diamond anniversary trout. We got 
at least one base one. Daddy says, you took one off the market. Yeah, I guess that's, that's true. There's not many out there, so I guess maybe every time one's opened up, the remaining supply goes up. $12,000 box of cards. It is crazy. I was almost thinking when I bought it, maybe I should just sit on this and wait a few years and it might be like a $20,000 box within a couple of years, but I don't know. I I really wanted to break it and find the truck because I've been waiting to do another break of that product. Junkyard Breaks says, as always, been a great night. So close to 50. Junkyard Breaks. Heather, how many subs does Junkyard Breaks have? Could you check that out for us? There is Shohei Otani. 47. So Devlin just says that, that Junkyard Breaks just hit 50. So congratulations. And thank you very much, Junkyard Breaks, for your support. Brian says, your channel is simple, and for us collectors that love all kinds of sets, from cheap ones to expensive ones, the flea markets to the nationals, that's what keeps me here. Thank you very much for that, Brian. Um, definitely love doing all types of different videos. I don't like to just settle into one kind of card. I like opening as many cards as I can. There's a 10-11 Eric Lauer. Let's see what else we have coming up. There's Miguel Rojas. Justin says, we should do that top 10 video. I think I may have, I don't know. How could we do that, Heather? Top 10 Tuesday. I want to do that now. I'm going to need, I'll probably have to, maybe I'll hire somebody to do that, or at least to track the hits and give me like, the best hits in each video and the time that they came out in each live stream. And that would make it easier if we like knew exactly where it was because otherwise we'd have to watch back through hours and hours. And maybe pay them and uh, I don't know, give them free breaks or something like that. Elkanon says, YouTube Studio on the phone makes thumbnails so much easier. I usually just, whenever I make thumbnails, I usually just find a spot in the video and take a screenshot of it and then just crop it down to the 16 to 9 ratio. Joe, thank you very much for the super chat. Joe J, I appreciate this support, man. Joe with the dollar super chat right now. And Jeff says, I remember uh, that you opened all that 2011 update on Christmas Eve a couple years ago. Yes, the... Famous Christmas Eve trout break where we pulled the gold Mike Trout and also the base Mike Trout. That was a fun one. There's Shed Long Gold. Elkanon says, I used to do that too, but now I can take a photo of the best hit and just upload it. I never really used the YouTube app on... I think I used that for is I just only used the upload feature. I guess I'll have to kind of play around with that. Uh, Metal Drive says, or Metal Doctor, Metal Drive, Metal DR says, you should have 500 likes by now. We have 385. Thank you to everybody that has hit the like button already. There's Shohei Otani game used relic. A very nice one for Ed. Shohei Otani is probably, I don't know, maybe we'll have a big season this year. Big comeback. Last Drop's baseball. It looks like about 10 people just hit the like button. So thank you guys. I appreciate that. And Last Drop says, I use an app called Fonto for the apps. I'll have to look into that, too. Probably a lot of technology out there that I'm overlooking and not using. Shogo Akiyama will get all those sleeved up. And Daddy Daughter's got the link there for Last Wraps Baseball. All right, so, Ed, your box is in the books. Let's see what we can find for you in your second box. Fonto is for thumbnails. Fonto. Can you write that down for me, Heather, on that, that list? Fonto thumbnails. I'll have to check in. Is it free? I usually just take a quick screenshot. I'll have to check out El Canone's screenshot and see what he's doing with YouTube Studio and check out Last Wraps. Ed, here we go. This is your second box. We only have this box and one more. Then that is it for the evening. So we probably have about, I don't know, 15 minutes left tops. Shy City says, 13 away from 600. Did you get any tops 206 jabs? I did not get any tops 206, unfortunately. I just, I don't know. 
It was a Topps only exclusive. I, I didn't try for it. And by the way, we're up over 400 likes right now. So thank you very much for the likes, guys. I really appreciate that. And Shy City is only 13 subscribers away from 600. Uh, Heather, how many? Oh, never mind. He's telling us right now. He only needs 13. I hope you guys will get Shy City up over the 600 mark as we go through Ed's cards. Mill 2K says, Jabs and Heather, have a great night. Looking forward to your next break. Mill 2K, thanks for being here. And um, I hope you have a great night as well. Next break is going to be Wednesday, doing Prism Quick Pitch. That's the new release coming out on that day. Uh, Dave bought T206 and still hasn't received it yet. Maybe they're a little backed up. I'm sure they probably got crushed with requests for that. All right, here we go. Marco, thank you very much for watching. Anything good pulled tonight? It says Cooper's Cards. You missed out on a five out of five. Clayton Kershaw. And there is you Darvish. You Darvish short print right there. That is a nice one. What else can we find? There's Eddie Rosario. We got a Frankie Lindor. When are we going to see a 95 Bowman's Best case break? That's a good question. Those cases are kind of hard to find. I could probably find a box. I don't know about a case, though. I'll have to check eBay. That older stuff like that, I have to get it off of eBay. I can't just go to, like, Steel City and pick those up. This is a nice one right here. James Karinchak out of 76. He's a nice rookie. Strikeout numbers off the charts. But, uh, yeah, I would definitely do 95 Bowman's Best because I haven't done that one yet. All right, Ed, here we go with your middle stack. What's been the best hit of the night, asked Max. Probably a 5 out of 5 Clayton Kershaw autograph. Also pulled the Andrew McCutcheon short print with his shirt all opened up. The uh, so-called McCutcheon swag short print. It's going for a lot of money now because the uh, picture on it um, was deemed as one of the best all time by ESPN. The one thing I've noticed with Top Series 2 is we have not pulled a single redemption card yet for the autos. Have we, Heather? I don't think we have. Although we haven't really received that many autographs to begin with. There's Mike Clevenger. That's going to be a black out of two ninety nine. dollars Burger Planet, how's it going? There is Derek Turnbull. Jeff says, do you plan to attend any of the MLB games in the shortened season? If we're allowed there, I'll be there at a game because Heather has never been to an MLB game. It'll be a different experience than what it used to be, Heather, for sure, because everybody will be all spaced out. But um, you'll get to see Major League Baseball action for sure. Luis Robert, we have pulled a few of his cards. We haven't pulled a short print yet. We pulled it on Friday, but not tonight. Last drop says you get to sit in your own section, have your own personal fire escape. There's Heather linking Daddy Daughter. Make sure you check out Daddy Daughter's channel. What? Heather said that I didn't miss a super chat. She just wants to get his link out there for all of his help. Burger Planet says, Jabs, do you like burgers? Heather, do you think I like burgers? I do like burgers, but I, I can't really eat them anymore because turns out I have high cholesterol. And uh, Heather told me I can only eat red meat now once a week. High cholesterol is not a good thing. What? So, um, kind of. Hey, Jacob DeGrom! Jacob DeGrom! That one is another nice one. It is the significant statistics. You get a piece of his pinstripe and his autograph. So this is up there in the top three autos of the night. It is numbered out of 10. A very nice low-numbered Jacob DeGrom for Ed. So, so far, the top three autographs we pulled, we pulled Clayton Kershaw, autograph out of five. Now we just pulled... DeGrom out of 10, and we also pulled DeGrom's teammate, Pete Alonso, out of 50. So 
We haven't pulled many autographs tonight. It's been kind of few and far between for autographs. This third case, though, has been really good for autos. I feel like we've pulled like five out of here so far. That's the, uh, what are we on now? The ninth autograph of the night. Clayton Kershaw for Ed out of 10. Congratulations on that one. So I'll tell you what, these hobby boxes have kind of redeemed themselves a little bit here at the end. I would still give this set probably a C minus. There's Andrew McCutcheon Gold. Um, but that's just me, I guess. Um, the watered down checklist and all of the relics. I'd, I'd probably give it a C minus. What would you give Top Series Two? There's Bo Bichette. Back to back Cy Young Award winner Jacob Degrom out of ten. Nice hit there, Ed. Congratulations. What would I give Series One? I'd probably give Series One an B plus A minus somewhere in that range. I'm seeing D plus a C for Series Two. There's Adam Eaton. Uh, Mill 2K says, but the price point is what it is. If you get more autos, the price of the box goes up. That's true. But for about $100 to $110 a box, I don't know. I kind of feel like I'd rather get more out of a hobby box than one out of five autographs per box. Let's see what Ed has, has in his silver packs. We have Cattell Marte, Solaire, Gwyn, and Nick Solek. We haven't hit a single autograph out of any silver pack. 36 of them, and not a single auto yet. And we only have one more box left, and then that is it. Last box of the evening. This is for Christopher. Thank you very much for being here, everybody. I hope that you'll hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Love to have you back for a lot more of these videos. We do one every single day. There's Brian Smith says, Put that Jason Dominguez on eBay that you pulled for me out of Select. Whatever it sells for, I'm going to put half into the optic break at the end of July. Brian Smith, thank you very much. That's right. Remember, Brian had that great Jason Dominguez hit. Um, he decided to put it on eBay. He's going to see what he gets for it and reinvest the money there. So that was very nice one. You might remember uh, if you were watching that break of Select, Brian actually gave all of his other cards from that break to Michael. Because uh, I think Brian may have gotten all of the hits from the box, including the Dominguez. And he was very kind and said, you know what? You can give the rest of those to Michael Q. I'll just take the Dominguez and the Brendan McKay for the PC. So here we go. Uh, Mill2K says, great stream, Heather. You are the Pog champ. Don't know who this Eric guy is. <laughs> Mill2K, he just made Heather smile. All right, so here we go. Christopher in spot number 37. Last one of the night. Have I pulled the 2030 Soto insert yet? Yes, we've pulled that one already. I don't remember anything special about it besides being a cool looking card. What will be the last hit of the hobby break? We'll find out in, I don't know, it usually takes me about five to seven minutes probably to do a box of these. So here we go, Christopher, spot number 37. Let's see what we have in your first stack. Jennifer pulled another three on card Rizzo the other night. That's a nice pull. Uh, Matthew says, Heather should open the last pack for good luck. Heather, do you want to do it? Heather's shaking her head no. She's busy sleeving the cards up. There's Christian Yelich. We got a Bo Jackson gold. I was mid-yawn on that one. Three out of 50, Bo Jackson what would I give 2019 Tops Update? I'd give that one an A. I love 2019 Tops Update. That is a great, great set. All right, Christopher, spot number 37. There's Javi Baez. Alan says, other than Robert, who's the notable rookies in Series 2? I hate to uh, be kind of pessimistic, but I'd say nobody, really, compared to all the other rookies that you can find in Series 1. Yeah, Matt, you summed it up. No one. I mean, you got guys like Yu Chang in there, Bruce Star Gratterall, James Karinchak, Shogo Akiyama, but I feel like those guys probably would be down around, like, I don't know, like the 10th spot of the Series 1 rookies. And Jennifer says, holy moly, I just got a Mickey Mantle auto just now. Jennifer, how did you pull that? Where did you pull a Mickey Mantle auto out of? Are you opening a bunch of 91 score Series 2 packs? 
and a mess of things. I accidentally got five of those yellow fairy fill boxes at Target for only 12 bucks each. How did you get that? They were $17.99, I think, when I bought them. Are Bowman Chrome 2019 any good? Yeah, I like Bowman Chrome. Susie says, wait, did you find that amazing card in your 2011 you opened yesterday? Susie, did you not see it? We did pull the Mike Trout rookie card. I hope you'll go back and watch it. It came out at 9.11 p.m. Eastern time, so you have to figure out whatever that was. Um, I don't know. I think it was at an hour and 42 minutes into the break. Let's see what we can find now. Looking for our hit. Uh, Westchester says, I'm happy with my Pete Alonso today. Told all my buddies to join. Thank you, Westchester. First break luck there. I hope you stay on a hot streak and can join into some other breaks. We've got a um, quick pitch from Prism coming up. Mill 2K, have a great night. Thanks for being here. There's A. Eugenio Suarez. There he is. A. Eugenio Suarez celebrating a home run short print. Trying to think, uh, we also have, I'm really excited for in two weeks, it's going to be the Retired Player Signature Series. That's July 8th. It's just like clearly authentic in the fact that you have one card per box. But it's going to be fun looking for Hall of Famers. Ian says, Jabs, I love your play call when you get an incredible hit. Thanks, man. Um, I love it when I find a, a super valuable card. It's like, um, I don't know, it's like seeing a home run because that's the closest thing to it. I guess. You're not expecting it. You, you find something like that. Couldn't find that Hollywood Mookie Betts anywhere on Beckett, says Jimmy. There's Francisco Mejia. Yeah, we pulled that in Jumbo. It was a nice pull. I guess it's a super short print. All right, here we go. Last stack of the night, everybody, and then we're on out of here. Thanks once again for spending your Sunday evening with us. Hope you guys have a great week. And I'll see you again live on Wednesday. How about that, Heather? A couple days off with no live streams. Heather approves of that. Here we go. Spot number 37. One more hit. What will the last hit be? The last box that we just saw had a Jacob deGrom. There's Luis Robert. I've got a bunch of different mystery boxes on the shelf. I'll pick one out and do it tomorrow. Dave, I'm not exactly sure which one I'm going to pick, but we'll see. There's Colby Allard. I'll think of something. I'll probably start to look for that around, I don't know, maybe 11 a.m. tomorrow. I usually like to get those sold and filmed on my lunch break. There's Guerrero Jr., significant statistics. Logan, thank you very much for the kind words. Best card I ever pulled was probably the one of one Super Fractor, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card. 1984 style design out of update. Where's our hit? It looks like it is going to be at the bottom of this stack. Here it is. Let's see what it is. You can see if it's a relic or not. I think it is going to be a relic. It's going to be this card right here. Brian says, good night, Eric. And all you guys and gals had a fun time even not being in the break. Thanks for hanging out tonight, Brian. Thanks for all you guys for hanging out. Last Drop says, how about some Silver Pack Magic? Yeah, it could happen. We'll see. That's right. Elkanon says, Jabs pulled me a Ted Williams cut auto and bat relic. That was the most legit ski. Elkanon, do you still have that one or did you sell it? I'm wondering if you sold it, what, what you got for that one. That was a huge hit too. I remember that one. Elkanon getting a Ted Williams cut auto and a bat. Another amazing pull. Jennifer says, you should have 1 million subs. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Elkanon still has it. There's the last hit. It's Aloy Jimenez Game Used Relic for Christopher. And Eric says, Series 1 stinks. So does Series 1. I don't blow all my cash on retail. Eric, what do you spend all of your money on? Let us know so that we can invest like you do. There's DJ LeMayhew, Howie Kendrick, and Miguel Rojas. So we have one more pack left. It is going to be the silver pack. We have opened 37 of these so far. Or no, 36, and we've yet to find a single autograph. I was really hoping that these would have some autos. I don't know why these silver packs with Hobby are so tough to find autos. I feel like... Um, 
I feel like we pulled, I don't know, five autos out of the silver packs from Jumbo or something like that. Let's see what we can find now for Christopher. Spot number 37. Last pack of the night. Thanks for being here, everybody. We have Buster Posey, AJ Puck rookie card, Zach Collins. And the last card of the night is Ozzy Albies. And that's going to do it, everybody. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate you spending your Sunday evening with us. We'll be back tomorrow with a Mystery Box Monday. And we'll be live again on Wednesday doing Prism Quick Pitch. So I hope you have a great rest of your evening. And I hope you had a great weekend. And I hope you have a great week coming up. Thanks for spending your Sunday with us. And I will see you all tomorrow for Mystery Box Monday. Good night, everybody.